Thank you.
Thank you.
Thank you.
I'm Chris Solo, and welcome to Fabled 42, where we build community through friendship, gaming, and chaos. If you're watching The Realms of Ugador, and you can watch us every Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. Pacific Time here at twitch.tv forward slash Fabled 42. But before we get that, let's go ahead and jump into our announcements. Welcome to the first day of GaryCon! <laughs> so, uh, this is day one of five days of GaryCon. We have a pretty fat schedule of streams, starting with the Realms of Ukador. Uh, we have a stream tomorrow, and then we're going to go ahead and host Vorpalboard, who has their own stream with guest star Joe Manginello, which is pretty exciting. Uh, and then we have other streams going on on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then following up with the Origins of Ukador on Monday to close out GaryCon. Uh, there are two ways to support any of these channels throughout this entire campaign. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, campaign. Uh, to, to the entire weekend. You can support us here at, uh, with subscriptions or you can donate bits. Either way, you get <clears throat> excuse me, healing potions, inspiration die, whatever. You can donate that to any of these players. You can say, hey, this healing potion is for Jadobi, uh, and I'll try to bring that potion in as quickly as possible. Every subscription tier gives you a healing potion and inspiration die that you can use throughout the any of the shows. So you get one free potion and inspiration die every single stream that we have this weekend. Uh, so use those wisely. Uh, you can, again, see that schedule down below in our Twitch panel. Um, big shout out to our longtime sponsors, Griffin Co. Everything that you see 3D printed tonight specifically is from Griffin Co. Uh, so make sure you give them a shout out. <clears throat> uh, and we are Vorpal powered. We are the video, the audio, the overlays, the dice, digital dice, the zoom features for the battle map is all brought to you by Vorpal board. So please take a look at them uh, and see what they're about. Uh, another big shout out to the rest of our sponsors, Master Monk Gaming, Tabletop Things, 8-Bit Coffee Co., uh, critical Dice, Plaid Elephant Props, uh, Plus One Crafting, and any music that you hear tonight will be from Derek and Brandon Fichter. Um, we'll be doing several giveaways throughout the night. Some are triggered by followers, some are triggered by live views, uh, some are just for the hell of it. So make sure to pay attention to the Twitch chat during the live stream only. Um, I might just start one and I may not have any audio cues, so just have to kind of keep an eye on that Twitch chat uh, and interact as much as possible. Uh, that's it. That's all I got. So, ooh, I'm nervous. So, uh, the first, we're going to do something new for the this entire weekend. There's a short two and a half minute tribute video uh, that talks about Gary Gygax. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get ready for the next chapter of The, the Realms the of Realms the Realms of the Realms. Annual gathering of Gygax family members, friends of my father's, and fellow game enthusiasts uh, from all over the country and the world. And we get together to remember my father and uh, honor him by doing what he loved best, playing games. It's a memorial convention that grew out of an event after his funeral. He passed away March 4th of 2008. Uh, we had a you know, relatively small funeral service. And then afterwards, I thought it would be appropriate to have a gathering in the American Legion Hall in Lake Geneva, which is the site of Gen Con 2, and a lot of fond memories for me and my family. My you know, sisters brought some pizza, and uh, we just had tables set up and played games and uh, people were shaking dice and playing various games and, and, and having a good time remembering my dad. And even though it was a sad moment, just to have being together with all those people was really cathartic for my family. I'm not sure who said it, uh, but someone said, wow, Luke, this is a great idea. You should do this every year. And uh, I think it was Jolly Blackburn said, you can call it Gary Con because they have a, a character in Knights of the Dinner Table, Gary Jackson, which is a cross between my dad, Gary Gygax, and Steve Jackson. So, and they have Gary Con, which is supposed to be like Gen Con. So, uh, uh, I thought that was that was fun, and so Gary Con was born. Lake Geneva is the mecca of role-playing gaming because uh, that's where my uh, father wrote Dungeons and Dragons in the house on 330 Center Street. It's not just my hometown; it's where Dungeons and Dragons was created. It's where TSR was headquartered all those years and there's a lot of creative people who still live in that area and so that's uh, really important that we're there and uh, remember the foundation of the industry as well as what my father did for it. There's a feeling of camaraderie at GaryCon that I think you don't get at a lot of other conventions. It's about having a good time. There's definitely a family feeling having my brothers and sisters and I uh, hosting this event. It's really great that, that, we, that we get to do it. And so I think that is what's special is that you feel like you're not just a person in a crowd, you're amongst friends. So bring a friend and come and play some games with us.
arms of Ukador. And welcome back. <laughs> so, after some fantastic plans, the party had prepared for Victor's arrival on the Verdant Plateau. Preparations were made. The trap was ready. All they needed was a little bait. Jadobi took clear care of that. Uh, oh, someone's mic just freaked out. Uh, Jadobi took uh, care of that by taunting uh, Victor to come to where they were. After a short amount of time, he appeared. <coughs> Uh, and the, the fight began. Victor was dealing some serious magic damage w with a magic uh, that the party had never seen before. With careful strategy and several strong blows against Victor, they were able to, to hurt him quite a bit. Saiyan was able to pull in a clutch move of uh, convincing and provoking him to come into his little circle uh, to fight uh, him toe-to-toe, -to -toe, which worked out in his favor. Uh, later, Tallulah and Victor were able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe as well. Tallulah was able to land a really strong attack, freeing an ability of hers where she was able to actually see through this illusion. It wasn't Victor they were fighting this whole time. It was actually Ian. And in that motion, she yells out, It's not Victor, it's Ian! And she l hits the final killing blow on Ian. Just then, off in the distance, the, the Lightbringer saw the last beacon, beacon ignite. They hear a <laughs> echoing laughter coming from the corpse of Ian, Victor, laughing incessantly. They also hear Dorius yelling out in pain, saying he's sorry, he didn't have a choice. And then sound, it sounded like he, he was slain in that, in that moment. Victor continued to laugh, taunted the Lightbringers one more time. Victor and his army are in all-out war in Tydean. The beacon has started. Now the Lightbringers decide how to move forward. What would you all like to do? What happened? Uh, he hit me and I dis I don't know what happened. I don't, I don't know. Even him. I don't know, Talk. I, I, I look at Ian and then I look over at... Um, at... Uh, <laughs> Why am I blanking on your name, <laughs> Cerise? Sorry, because Cerise was re was ready for the with the box with the button. So I'm looking yep. at her. I'm gonna run over to her. Yeah, that's where I'm running. Yeah, okay. Cerise looks at her uh, cube and she's like, "Wait, shit! This is only for interplanar travel. Fuck." <clears throat> Jadon, um, how do we get there? Okay. Um, can you open a tree? Or I have two charges on this. We can just go through, uh, through the Earth Ward. It'll let's like do us. it. Let's do it. Okay. Yes. So plane jump, Earth Ward, plane jump to Tidian. Yeah, it's Where more accurate than teleport. Okay. I've only been to. Where are you trying to land in Tidian? Um, do we want to gather our thoughts in the Earth Ward while we're there for a second? Yes. Okay. A minute there will be almost out of time. Okay, so everyone goes through the gate, including, I assume, all your elemental boys and rock yes. boys. Ele ele uh, this gate, can it, can it fit a uh, large... Yeah, yeah it can. Yeah. So, yeah. elemental boys and awakened trees are coming with us. Okay. All right. And wait, what was the last thing you said? Awakened trees. <laughs> yeah, I have, I, have, I have four awakened trees from awaken, the Druid Grove. Awaken. What? How, how wait, what? The What's trees? happening? Oh, where are we going? They're large. They're, they're large, large, like the uh, like the. Um, so they're like small ants. Rock boys. Hmm? Aww, like small baby ants. ants. <laughs> small ants. Mm, I feel like they're bigger than that. They're like a little bit bigger than the rock boys, but yeah. Well, no, I'm just saying like ants are like huge or gargantuan, so like they're smaller. Yes. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So quickly, you all gather around Cerise. Uh, she hits the, the button for the Earth War. And all of you, including your little tree buddies, all venture off to the outskirts of the Earth War, the city of Boulder. Uh, what do you want to do? What just happened? I'm sorry, who, Jadobi. Who will be fighting? Jadobi? What? Jadobi is like kind of trembling and taking the moment to think. Saying it was um, Jadobi's nephew. 
What? Victor has had his nephew under his control for quite some time now, and I assume that he sent him on some sort of suicide mission, and... I'm just... I'm sorry. I don't understand. All right. We We can't stay here for too long. No, we need to go. Yeah, um, all right. I just want to think of a plan. Where are we going in Tydean? Where do you want me to take you? Should we go straight to the castle? Should we go to the keep where where the people are there, hiding with your there's mother? A tree, there's a tree to the north. Tolula, do you remember where we where we were when after it happened, when we spoke to you about your mother? Yes. We need to go there. It's the only thing I feel that might be safe we probably won't be able to port into the city. We have to port outside the city, and that's the only thing that's outside. I don't think the city there's time for safe. <clears throat> I think we need to go straight into the square. I agree. Let's go. All right. Is there anyone here we, we can bring play. with us, or do we think we have all the allies? We. I guess I'm mostly thinking of. Satine? Is that her name? Satina. Satina? I'm going to... The second she says that, I'm going to start running into the city, into Boldir, to look for Satina. Uh, wait, it, wait, wait. <laughs> as, as you start going towards the gate, Toro uh, stops you. Jadobi, what's wrong? It's happening. It's happening right now. Where's Satina? Uh, she's, she's busy at the moment. What can I do? Can you please get the word to her to, to, to send as many as she can? We, sp- we spoke a while back and she said she would help us with her troops. Where? Any Where? that she could possibly spare. Tidy in. Tidy in. Okay. I'll do what I can. And he, Thank he, you. he shifts into his, 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 big, uh, his big rock form and he just starts booking it down the main street. Okay. Okay. I turn to everyone else. All right, the word's out. I'm ready. Let's go. Okay. Does Let's anybody go. need to do anything before we go? Any spells, any... Just do it. So quick, 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 just operational thing. You all casted a bunch of shit on yourselves. Does everyone remember what you cast on yourselves? You all right. Mind Blank was one of them. Stone Skin yeah. on myself. Okay. Um, I had Freedom of Movement. We all have the Heroes Feast. Um, so your temporary hit points, I, if you still have them, are still there. If you still Advantage on wisdom saves and something else. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And mind blank, uh, which means you're immune to psychic damage. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, and question. no one should be able to read your mind. Um, and you should question be immune from most mind affecting spells. Answer. Um, the uh, the thing you gave us. Um, I forget. I forget what it was. I think it was like your speech. Your speech gave us. Oh uh, yes, the inspiring okay. leadership. Does if we were to heal back up to max, would the, would we heal those two? Because I know for heroes feast you get them back if you heal. They is, the uh, is heroes feast temporary hit points or is it a max increase? It's a max increase. So once you have like a long no. rest, then you so, so, so inspiring leadership is temporary hit points. So for the purpose gotcha. of this, because you are on the earth ward and you know specifically the earth ward's time does move much slower, you can take a short rest, which is thirty minutes. If you need to do that to regain hit die, spell slots, whatever. That's right. I should heal you guys. We sh- you should chuck a bunch of potions. As you say, short rest doesn't uh, restore spells, though, does it? We should so take some potions. Yeah. It, does, it does for some people. Oh, yeah. Got it. Not me. Yeah, I think a short rest does make sense if we can manage it. I have a song of rest, and we can help you. I can help you relax I, I, in this try time. I would also say if you did take a sh- long rest, you could, but then what you walk into would be probably different. It's totally up to you. Plus, we would lose a lot of our bonus perks that we're currently sitting Correct. on. Correct. Yeah. So I'd let, I'd, I'd allow, with what you cast, the stuff that lasts an hour, your fight was only seconds, you came here, you do a 30-minute short rest, and you go to Tydean, start a new fight, you would still have that hour stuff. Yep. Yeah, I feel, I feel like in this short rest, we would be like kind of talking back and forth about ideas that we have for going in there. Do it. Alright. Alright, so... So, just to refresh, 
Am I mind blanked or am I the other thing? You're both. Well, you're mind blanked. I don't know what the other thing is. But... I think I'm for sure I'm mind blanked. Yes. And you have Hero's Feast. Those are your two things. And Hero's Feast. Remind. Advantage on That's wisdom a... saves. Immunity to poison. Got it. Temporary hit points. Can you be feared? No. I mean, no, I, ca can't. I can anyway. Generally. Because I'm a big scary vampire. All right, so, what, Tallulah, what, what do you think we should port into the city? It's your city. What, what, the heart of the city? Like, what, what, where do you think we should go? I don't know what all has been magically sealed to, to what we can reach, but I feel like you would. I mean, did Victor... Did we hear anything or see anything when he was talking to us, or...? No, I mean, no, nothing that would, would indicate... I mean, you know, you all know that the final stand that the, the people of Tydean were going to do were at, was at the keep near the square, right. which you both just said a few right. minutes ago. Right. Um, so that's. I mean, that's your I best guess. I stand firm on the square. I think it'll be the heart of everything, and we can see whatever we need to see from there. All right, then I I agree with Tallulah. This makes she, sense. She knows the city best. Um, I'm gonna just go roll my hit. And you know what? Just for shits and giggles, I'm gonna do this too. Cause why not? Um, Jadobi is going to. Um, his tattoos are gonna start glowing like a very spiritual yellow. And as she moves his hands, there's like this wisp of yellow energy. And from the uh, pure earthen ground. Um, will rise this very um, uh, majestic wolf, uh, dire wolf. Well, no, not dire wolf, regular wolf. And it's just gonna look at you all, and I'm gonna turn to you all. This is a spirit of healing. All you need to do is touch it. Touch it for the minute that it's here, and it will heal you quite, quite a bit. Do you remember how much um... <coughs> How many temporary hit points we got from Hero's Feast? Fifteen. Okay. Uh, I don't I mean, know. You have eleven left. I mean, whatever you have is your temporary. Oh, I don't know. Well, because it's from Hero's Feast, you return to it's like a bonus, right? Like it's a temporary max hit points or uh, something. I, I'm pretty sure that if you roll hit die and all that, it doesn't refill that. I'm pretty sure it doesn't refill your temporary hit points. Right. I, I thought that was what the discussion was the, the, earlier about um, Hero's Feast being, while it's lasting, you can regain those from resting. Yeah, you, you can regain those eight, that those hit points. They're they're not. Uh, they don't just. They come back if you heal or you take a long rest. They come back. They're not. Okay. So then everybody yeah. can, because everybody got temporary hit points from sand, right? Yes. But and not. Yes. But it, sand temporary hit points are actually temporary that we can't yes. regain. So you can give your all. You can give every. Everyone can take fifteen temporary hit points. Uh, also, also, I'm casting. I, I already had some, so. I don't know if I can because of, I can't regain, above, what I lose when I, damage myself for the right. Mm. Although I thought you get that back after a short rest, or is it a long rest? I think it's. A long I haven't rest. put, I haven't put my sword away. Yeah, she. So if she puts it away. Oh. She has to redo it. So yeah, I'd it. have to hurt myself again. So yeah, it's I, still activated. So I think Tallulah, you have to just. You can regain. I would let you regain your regular HP and your temporary hit points is because of your right. So you can regain. Got it. You know, another twelve hit points or whatever. Thank you. So uh, DM. Yes. DM. Yes. I, I cast Healing Spirit at third level, which is two D six, and it lasts for a minute. So what I did was I rolled once. I'm just gonna just um, multiply it by 10. So I rolled a 5 okay. uh, times 10 is 50, so everyone gets 50 HP. I think everybody was max, but yeah. Oh! Not me. <laughs> yeah, it was... Oh, that's right. Right. that's right. I didn't me get hit. Me and, Saiyan, me and Saiyan were the only ones that got hit. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I got well, hit, but which, I don't uh, know what happened. Uh, we all, we had a lot of temporary HP that was really uh, came in clutch. Uh, that question, DM, uh, did I see anything when I got smacked into nowhere? What what you saw was darkness. You saw a lot of moving shapes and shadows. Uh, it's it was like you were in a living nightmare. 
It was it was crazy making. Like it's like I put the ring on and freaking. Uh, like that, but wor- <laughs> like that, but worse. Like so, technically, I I should have made you do a save when you came back. I didn't, so you got a freebie. But technically, you would have taken X amount of uh, uh, corruption damage. By the way, oh, it's officially right. corruption magic. Mm. Um, but you all don't know that yet. And Fair after enough. uh. After taking advantage of the healing spirit that Jadobi provided, uh, Saiyan's going to walk up to Jadobi. I'm... I'm so sorry. I swore I would bring them back for you. And I failed. It's not your fault. We didn't know. What I'm curious about, though, and I look at Tallulah, you have true sight through your sword. You didn't... You didn't see him. I I guess I didn't until that moment. Yeah, that that hit that you did, right before you saw him, you watched his form flicker. So whatever damage you did was able. He to must have flicker. been holding it up through some very powerful magic, and I weakened him enough to do it. Okay. He was cannot... he was too far gone. You can't you can't blame yourself for it. You can, you can blame lost, me if you but... want, but <laughs> we told you this would be coming wounds. a long time ago. Mm-hmm. And after saying he can mend his wounds, uh, Saiyan will lay on hands on Jadobi to heal him another forty. I'm okay. No, I when he when I see his glowing hand, I push it away. Like I'm all right. I'm okay. Thank you, but I'm all right. He's the least I can do. It's the no. What you can do is help us save Tydean. Yes. That I will. Um, unless anything, unless anyone wants to say anything else during the short west, I'm going to... Uh, short turn... west. Short west. Short, short west. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna turn to um, Cerise. I'm ready whenever you are. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yes. As am I. All Let's right. Let's do this. <clears throat> then we are all ready. Okay. So you and yeah, I, yeah, I open the gate to the material plane. Okay, and you're going to the square. The square. Okay. The square. You feel your body shift again, and as you enter this space, the first thing that hits you is the chaos and the noise of of everything that's kind of going around. You hear sword fights and clanks and growls and all sorts of just screams and, and all in the distance. You look around and there are hundreds and thousands of just soldiers and citizens and militia fighting wolves and demon hounds and there's bats and, and uh, demons flying around and you see a couple wraiths flying around and literally the entire square is just covered with chaos and everything. Perception checks, please. <laughs> Twenty-two. That'll be a. Thirty-one. Fifteen. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. You all see chaos ensue. There are. Oh, that's. A <laughs> <laughs> We've gone to the upside down. down. Now, world. You guys were in the upside down. Oh no! Can you imagine? <laughs> But it's oh, beautiful. Man. That was too perfect. And holy cow, there are so many figures on that board. There so, is chaos. You <laughs> see all down. this chaos. All the smoke's gone now, damn it. That's all right. <laughs> no, uh, it was it, great. Oh, no, it, it, the effect was there. The effect was definitely it was, there. It was messing with the, the, the focus anyway. So <laughs> as you all appear, you arrive right in front of the gates of, oh, this, I love this. of the, of oh, the keep. And you see literally thousands of just figures and creatures and fighting everywhere. People you know, people you don't know. Uh, you see Victor floating above them. Looks like he's casting something. You all arrive right behind what looks to be Max and a bunch of soldiers that are almost put two Tulu in there. <laughs> Suddenly she multiplied. Jadobi, real quick. It's a new feature. Where are your rock people going? Um, 
I'm guessing they just kind of bamfed with us, um, so they're gonna just kind of be around us. Same with my uh, tree, uh, awakened trees. Okay. So just kind of just like all around us, because we all just kind of like huddled together and to bamf sure. there. I mean, I'm gonna yeah, let you amazing. place them anywhere. So where would you like them to to go specifically? Okay. Um, we're gonna have two here. I don't see your mouse. Your cursor is very blood. It's under nope. Victor. Oh, I see. I see. Sort of. It's it's hidden in all the green. So, <laughs> right so, so what right is it, here. The green mouth on the green board. Oh, wait, guys. Okay. Oh, that's not where I was pointing, actually. Interesting. That's where your mouse is on ours. Interesting. Okay. Um. Great. So, all right, so I'm going to have two uh, to the group's right. I'm going to have two to the group's left. I'm going to have one in front of the group. And uh, for my awakened trees, I am going to have two of them to our left and two of them to our right, and that's it. Okay. Uh, can everyone please roll initiative again? Or pull initiative, please. It's that time, folks. Oh, Vorpal Initiative? Yeah. Woof. Swamp. <laughs> uh, I get to re-roll as well. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and I'll take Fishly that. my worst initiative ever. Uh, 20 and above. 22. Anyone beat 22? Ugh. Work on top. Uh, hold, hold, hold 20, up, though, actually. 24. Wait, what? Oh, I'm so mad. Uh, No, no one got above 20. Uh, Denahi, you're Not for me. even lower than mine. D right. Wait, Denahi, you said you got 24? Yeah. Yes. Uh, 15 to 20? Uh, Yes, so Ika, Ika got tw uh, 19. I got 19. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, 10 to 15? Uh, me. I got uh, 12, 13. Oh, wait. No, you said 15 to 20, right? Sorry. Never mind. 13. <laughs> uh, Tallulah, what'd you get? Saying, Cerise? I got nine. Four. Nine, four. Eight. Eight. So, Cerise. Nine, eight, four. Saying, and Tallulah. So, Ika. Ika got a uh, 13 as well. I thought you said he had a 19. No. Oh, no, 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 not Ika. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So, not Ika. Rock Boys. Rock Boys got a 12. I'm sorry. Rock Boys got a 12. And the Treants got a 4. Rock Boys and guest artist, the Treants. Yeah, right. So, Treants are after Tallulah. Great. <clears throat> okay, top of the order, Denahi. You see all this chaos. You see Max in front of you fighting some sort of demon. Uh, Victor is flying above uh, Max. You can kind of see him right here, if you can see the map. I don't know if you can... Does everybody see my point around Victor right now? Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Um, he's about 20, 20, 25 feet off the ground, um, floating. Can I decipher in this chaos, like, who would be fighting like against us or not or so is it kind of it's, it's muddled it's kind of muddled but you can kind of pick it out so there are demon creatures with black wings there are the little hell wolves that you all fought a long time ago there are dire wolves all over the place there are uh gnolls up here which are my werewolves you see bats and wraiths all over the place there's a bunch of undead um, and that's all you all see. But anything that looks like a regular person is a regular person. Okay. Oh, people are gonna die! And there are people up on the walls, too, if you don't see. There are archers up here launching. Uh, there's some spells being shot. Uh, Jadobi, you don't really see it yet, but Ina is up on top of the keep, and she's launching spells, and there's other spellcasters up here launching shit down below. Okay, um, eh. up there where Ina is, any bad guys up there or no? No, I mean, I can't, okay. I can't show it. So there's probably, 
a hundred more bats and wraiths flying around. So they're dealing with those. So a lot of the stuff that's going on is there as a handicap for y'all to really isolate what you're doing and also yeah, just look you. cool. But so there are a lot of bats and shit flying around that all the archers and spellcasters are trying to pick out of the sky. Okay, and since I can't find the spell I want, I'm just gonna do this thing. Mm. Okay. Um, yeah, she's gonna, she's chaotically looking around, uh, until she does spot Victor, and then she kind of have, has tunnel vision upon him. Okay. So, she's gonna formulate kind of a frost orb in her palm and launch it right at him. Okay. And a cast chromatic orb. Your, your scythe is still out, by the way. I don't believe you used it. I'm not going to yet. Okay. But I'm just saying, I don't think you used it. You only get the one shot. Yeah. I, I don't think you used it yet. <laughs> oh my gosh, math. It's so hard, you guys. So hard. 30 to hit. Hits. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to do this. My computer's a little slow, so bear with me. You're good. Bearing. You are on deck. That much frost damage. 22 frost damage. Okay. And that's it. Okay. Gonna stay in place. Stay in place. On the ground or, or hovering? On the ground. Okay. Tort. Do I have a path to what Max is fighting? Uh, yeah. You can run past on his left and take a swipe of that big demon thing. Yep. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. And then I'm trying to see Max while I'm doing it. And, Thought I would find you here. And then I'll swing. <laughs> Roll for and attack. then I'll swing. Uh, oh my god, that was terrible. What took you uh, so long? A 21? Hits. Yay, it's just so exciting. Uh, you know what? I just realized I gotta pop rage, I gotta do all the stuff. Uh, so yeah, I swing and then uh, I don't even have all the stuff, so I can only use two d12s for the first hit. It is undead. Though. Oh, I'll take that. It is. Uh, and then, what's that? It's undead. I don't know if you get extra for undead. I do get extra for undead. So then, uh, so t what is it? Twenty-two, thirty-three, and another. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> How much was that? Oh my god! Okay, so that's 58? Goodness. Yeah, 58, I guess. Wow. Uh, yeah, he's looking pretty rough. He was already looking battered, but yeah, that was that was amazing. Cool. I'm going to hit him again. Go for it. And... Play bonus action rage, and then you're going to hit him again? Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, because he is undead, yeah, I get the four, so... <laughs> so, 44. Four points of damage. Did you roll a hit? Yeah. Okay. I hit. I rolled better than the last time, so. Got it. Great. That's it. Okay, so before I'm before Ika's turn. Because Denahi pissed him off. Um Did not he make a constitution save for me? Is it magical? Yes. You get advantage and plus four. There she is. What was your content? Mm, I have to recra- I don't think I- hold on. Constitution? Yep. 36. 36? Ooh. Damn. Okay. So you take half. Uh, uh, 
Yeah, you take half. So you take, uh, instead of taking 42, you take 21 points of corruption damage. Oof. As he casts uh, a different version of Blight on you. Uh, ends his top of the order at the 20 mark, Ika. Get it. Let's see. Um, he's right there behind everybody. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, who's... Okay, so there's... Man. <laughs> there's the smoke. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I he's love about it. to say, like, what's that thing over the... Oh, never mind, I can't see it. <laughs> never mind, I can't see it. There's someone cast fog uh, cloud. It's the fog of war. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, so on, on my screen, uh, my green arrow is at the bottom, the bottom right with the the dark person with the wings. Can you see it, or what is it, what do you see when you look at my arrow? You are underneath Victor. Yep, you are directly oh, underneath Victor. That's strange. So after after okay. Ike's turn, just do, do a quick refresh, and then as you work. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Black uh, creature to the he, right. I, yeah, he's gonna go attack that guy. Roll for attack. As he approaches this creature, it's this giant skeletal creature with a long skull, big black wings, and you see this black essence kind of just draping off of it as Ika charges this creature. Woo! The first one missed with a natural one. Number two. The next Ica claw. Uh, oh, no! I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Oh, no. <laughs> so it's going to be... Ooh, 20 total for the second claw. To hit? Just hit. To hit, yes. Just hit. Woo! All right. 2d8. How many oh, character bad, sheets do you have uh, open, Solo? Two fucking many. <laughs> <laughs> Seven, 17 points of magical slashing damage from his claws. Ooh, and also another uh, d10 radiant. One second. Uh, blue. Aw. So two points of radiant that might double to four if it's undead. Or faint. Uh, Woo! I can make and that's a Ica's turn. Dexterity saving throw. All right, here we go. Dexterity. Is I can in range for Is my bonuses? Uh, what's the range? Yes. Uh, thirty feet. <laughs> uh, here we go. What? Yes. 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 He is. <laughs> uh, this is a dex save. Yes. Yes. Not the best. Uh, so... 13 total. 13 fail. Ika takes uh, 28 points of corruption damage. As he hits this creature, you watch this black essence like pour out engulfing, and Ika actually inhales some of it and coughs a little bit. Um, mm. It's Ooh, gonna be a long you, fight, be, folks. Before you uh, do uh, give Ika that damage, um, right now I'm looking at his sheet, and he only has an 11, 11 temporary hit points. He should have 31 like everyone else, too, because he was a part of the feast. No, he, just, he should just get a plus 15. A plus 15? Why not the the 31? Because he had that. Because, because you... You only get 15 he, he got, more from the feast. Well, also, I don't think that Ika was present for my inspiring speech. Oh? Or were they? Okay, sure. Okay, then. I can swear he was there, but okay. No, no, that's fine. I'm gonna, so I'm going to half it, so it's only taking 14. I could be mistaken on that, but I, I don't think that I they were. I split the difference. So he only took a little bit of real damage. So, uh, Ike is done? Yep. Okay, uh, let's see. Jadobi, you are on deck. I'm going to move some things around a little bit. So, the fight continues on. Some people off. Things are changing and moving. So much going on. <laughs> All right. Pretty wild um, today. Let's see. There's something right in front of us with huge bat wings. Uh, that's a big giant demon thing with four arms. Yeah, that's the target. We're that's handling target it. There. <laughs> There's none of those um, like crazy. Never mind. Don't listen to me. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, uh, fifth level. I am going to do. Where are you? Mm. 
Oh no, six. We're going six for this one. Okay. So I'm gonna look dead in his face from like, I don't know, like 20 feet away <laughs> or 10 feet away, however far I am. The demon? And uh, my hands are. The demon, yeah, in front of me. Okay. Uh, my hands are gonna start moving as I speak in Druidic, and my eyes and tattoos are gonna glow a uh, radiant um, golden yellow, and I am going to cast Sunbeam at its face. Uh, it has to make a... What's the radius of that? 60-foot radius. Sunbeam is a 60-foot radius? I mean, not radius, I'm sorry. It's, sunbeam is a line. It's a line, a 60-foot line. So you're just shooting a laser beam. Basically. Uh, that's going to be 68 radiant. That's going to be a constitution save. Uh, undead fail, uh, have, un have fail, a disadvantage. Fail, fail. Fail. Succeed. <laughs> so Succeed. with that beam, you watch all the undead creatures in that street just explode and die. Because it goes oh. 60 feet. So this dies, the demon actually dies. Oh, wow. This dies, that dies. Clean on house. <laughs> Clear in the way. Clear in the way. Did, did, any, did any one of them survive that, that beam? One did. It's way far away from you. All right, so I have damage for him. Uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 25, 29, 29 double to 58 points of radiant damage to it. Damn! I'm the one that succeeded? Yeah, oh, wait, no, actually, wait, I'm sorry. He takes half damage, so actually, yeah, he takes 29 yeah, damage. He, sorry he, about that. He's still up. He's hurt, but he's still up. Cool. Uh, that is bonus action. No movement. No. I'm done. Rock boys. <laughs> All right. Never done. So it's still your turn, Jinobi. Right. We're, we're gonna, this whole, they're gonna, the whole round is his turn. They're going to fan out to the closest thing that they can hit. And if they can get advantage, even better. All right, cool. Um, number one. Uh, 24 to hit for the first hit. Hits. Boom. Six, seven, eight, nine, eleven. Eleven points of bludgeoning damage okay. on the first hit. Second hit. Each one Ooh, gets that's two a hits. miss. Uh, each each one. one gets two hits. Okay. Guy number. Guy number two. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, ooh, that mit, well, that might hit. Let me see. Uh, 13 to hit? Nope. All right, hit number two. You have to get a 20. Uh, okay, that one hits. It's an 18 plus six, so yeah. that one definitely hits. Boom. Uh, ooh, that was nice. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen 14, 15, 16. 16 points of bludgeoning damage to that one. Okay. Guy number three. Natural 20, I'll take it. Uh, six, eight, nine. Oh, I don't, okay, so that's Get eight, away. That's Go. double Get. two. 16, Get. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Uh, second, second hit. Boop. Uh, 17 plus stuff definitely hit, so that's going to be... Ooh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven points of bludgeoning damage. Guy number four. Nineteen plus stuff definitely hits. Yeah. Rock boys are uh, rolling. Uh, ten, uh, fourteen points of bludgeoning damage. Second hit. Uh, nineteen plus stuff definitely hits. Uh, ooh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen points of bludgeoning, bludgeoning damage to that one. Guy number five. Uh, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 on the dot, 20 on the dot, 14 plus 6, boom, uh, 6, ooh, double 6 is 12, 15, 15, 15, 16, 16 points of bludgeoning damage, last hit for Rock Boy, 13, ooh, 19, does 19 hit? No. Misses, Rock Boys are done. Okay, uh, 
Uh, Rock Boys. Uh, Rock Boys, Ica, Torg, please all make dexterity saving throws, please. Dexterity Solo, am I on the board? <laughs> yes. Natural. I, you're right there. <laughs> oh, yes, there we go. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> I was there the whole time. Thank whole time. you. You're invisible. I, you just, you're you're just invisible. Cool. You He's just blinked in a little from? bit later. That's all. <laughs> yeah. I was maintaining the gate on the other side. Yeah, there, there's a little bit of latency on that particular portal. That's awkward. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who's making who's making the deck safe solo? All five of your rock guys and Ica and Torque. I rolled a natural twenty. Alright, so of course you did. Nice. Um Ica rolled 14, 14, uh, 18. Fail. Is that safe? Fail. Okay, whoo. Well, the, the rock boards rolled lower, so they fail. Okay. Um, what did what did the rock boys roll? The rock boys rolled a um, 17 or lower? Shit. Yeah, it was lower than 17. Okay, so uh I could do a strength saving throw for me. So what happens is um, two of the demons start attacking two of your rock boys. <clears throat> so they both do, okay. uh, to both of them, both, two of your rock guys take 67 points of corruption damage. Okay, so uh, what colors? What are, what are the two colors? Uh, I don't know, because I changed them. Um, okay. Uh, uh, Sixty what points? It'll, it'll be red and, red and purple. Red and purple. Red, purple. Got you. Okay. Uh, Sixty-five points of damage. Got gotcha. you. Uh, Torque, you take uh, half of that. What did I just say? Sixty-five. Sixty-five. So half of that, which is thirty-two. Call it thirty-two points of corruption damage. What's what's Ica's strength saving throw? 19. 19. Okay. So what happens is, is Victor, uh, not really paying attention to you all, he's still doing something. You watch as this portal is created on the ground right near where your rock people are. All three of those rock guys disappear into this portal. Oh! Just get disintegrated. It's a spell! I, I'm, I'm going to cast a counter spell. It's, not, it's... A, it's not a spell. He's, he's, it's... It, he's been summoning a portal, so it's not, it's not a spell. So it's a ritual. Um, it's it's a, it's something different, but Ica does not fall in. That's the important key of this. Who falls in? Your three rock boys and a bunch of civilians and even one of two of his demon things fall into that portal. For the purpose of this, because I don't have a portal, everything in this area, the trees, all the landscape all just gets sucked into this port. Uh -oh. Ike is able to hold on. And this this interesting portal in the middle of this just starts to consume energy and start to pull. It's almost like a black hole opens up and starts just pulling things in. Sounds like a gravity well. It He's ends, about to summon her. It ends Everyone. Victor's turn. It is now Cerise's turn. Okay. Um, Your two rock guys are still up, so by, by the way. GW, are they? Nope. Oh, oh, That's refreshing. Okay. Um, I am going That's to fly right. up 10 feet. Okay. Um, and I'm going to try and take in as much of the battlefield as I can to see like who's our ally and who's not and activate spirit guardians. At sixth level. What's the radius on it? Spirit Guardians is a, a okay. It's, it's like it's like. I think it's fifteen feet. It's they float this... around you at a distance of fifteen feet for the duration. You can specify any number of people you can see who you don't want it to affect. Like this thing. Uh yes. Yeah, so if that's thirty foot diameter, then that would be. Yeah. Okay, so um, anyone who is not our ally in that will take radiant damage. So, coincidentally, there's nobody that's not an ally in that circle. Okay, um, I'm going to flit over 
uh, towards that group that looks like it's full of a bunch of not allies, right? This over here? Uh, there are two not allies in there, those two demon things. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go towards them. Okay. So you're just trying to engulf those two guys? And how yeah. much damage do they take? Um, they make a wisdom saving throw, uh, and then they'll take 68 damage, or half, depending on if they save. DC is 22. Yeah. Uh, I think one got a 21, so they both fail. Cool. They take 25 damage, radiant damage each. You watch as both of them disintegrate, and their their essence just just like this. this uh, as they disintegrate, this black essence pours out, and two of the humanoids that were standing by this essence consumes them, and you watch as their skin and their flesh get burned alive. Um, so two of your allies die when they die, but the, the two evil things are dead. Excuse me. Wait, so the, the ones I destroyed went into the other people and killed them, no, or as something they, else? As they just as they died and disintegrated, their bodies turned to ash, and the ash was kind of in the air, and as that ash touched two of the humanoids, their their skin dissolved, and they were burned alive, and they died too. <sighs> we're causing casualties! We need to get them away! Um... I hear what you're saying, saying... <laughs> <laughs> Now it's time for you to get a slaying, and she gives you bardic inspiration. That was her bonus action, and then her turn. Good, good recovery. Good recovery. <laughs> saying it is not your turn. Oh, fantastic. You have a default. Uh, you can use So there are no more unfriendlies in that green circle right now, yes? Correct. Nothing in that vicinity. Uh, let me turn my mouse on so you can actually see. So there are unfriendlies in this area over here. Uh, yes, for the most part. There are unfriendlies everywhere, and they're coming towards you. There's more off-screen that are, that are slowly coming that way. Gotcha. Where does it seem like the greatest mass of them is coming from right now? Uh, either direction. It's pretty equal. Okay, how far away is this crowd right here? If I were to use my full movement of 30 feet, how far over here could I get? Uh, which way? Going towards this uh, center area where this massive monsters it, is coming from. You can, you can get right about here. Whoa, what just happened? Uh, Who's yep, my map just flipped, so hang on a second. Okay, uh, got it, sweet. So I'm gonna run as far up over there as I can. Is that is that my max right there? Is that 30? Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna run up over there, and I am going to... His uh, Saiyan's eyes are gonna start glowing white, holy white, and he is going to... Turn undead. Huh. Nice. And please explain to me in the crowd what that does. So, uh, what that is going to do is he is channeling divinity through his body, and he is just creating this visceral image that just is going to be terrifying to any undead to behold. And if they fail their wisdom saving throw, they are going to be turned away for the next minute or until they take damage. How far is it? I believe the range is uh, 30. Let me double check that. Yeah. yeah, it's any undead that I can see or hear, that can see or hear me within 30 feet. <coughs> and I take a wisdom saving throw, DC 18. And if they fail, they run away. Back, you unholy fiends! They go back. Thank you. <laughs> and that will, uh, I believe that's all the action that I can take, so that is going to end Saiyan's turn for now. Okay, Tallulah. Ah, it's me! Um, okay, so, um, taking in with the incredible chaos around me, I... Uh, my wings are out, because I have my sword out. Uh, my right is on, and I don't know if I'm still hasted, so we're just gonna ignore that. I'm going to sprout, sprout, jump, fly, still getting the hang of what that means, um, straight towards Victor. Okay. 
I have a fly speed of 90, so I assume that I can get there. Correct. Um, and I'm going to say concentrate on this. Ooh, and I got. I love the sound effects went. Which is <laughs> <laughs> um, 18 plus. 16 is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 10, 20, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. 34 to hit. Hits. Beautiful. And um, if it hits, he is he, he's considered evil, correct? Mm -hmm. So he must make a constitution saving throw. Four. Or be blind or be blinded from my sword. Okay. One second, just checking something. Oh, spicy rolls. <laughs> yeah. Spicy jalapeno. So, uh, you don't see any reaction to the blind the blindness. Got it. Um, thirty-four radiant damage and five uh, fire damage. Okay. On the first attack. Oh. Mm, I messed up, but it's fine. I'll do it out of order. Um, I'd like to um, blood curse mark him okay. as my bonus action, so then my next attack will deal a double crimson right damage. Okay. Ha ha! Ha! How do you like them apples? Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. <laughs> Um, what a rotten apple. Very rotten apple. 23? Yeah, that's what I thought. Hmm. Whiffed it. It's fine. Um, so good to know he's hard to hit. Yeah, great. Uh, okay, so I did a bonus action. He's marked. Um, I think that's it. I think that's all I can do. Yeah, I already did my bonus action. Yep, that's it. That's for me. I'm right in his face, and I'm hitting him with a big giant sword. Um, wisdom saving throw. Uh huh. Do you have advantage? Uh, yes, I do. Is this a spell? Is he casting a spell? Uh, yes, he's casting a reaction. You know, what? I think she's good. I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna hold it. <laughs> Twenty-two. Twenty-two fails. Yeah. Woo! I rolled a uh, ten. Sorry. Okay. So first, where's it at? Where's it at? I need to return to this one. Okay. So uh, you fall unconscious. He casts eye bite on you. You oh, feel fuck. like the, the back recesses of your of your head kind of just go numb, and your eyes close. You fall unconscious and land prone on the ground. Mm. I bite. Uh, before the spell takes complete hold, you take five points of bludgeoning damage. All right. And you are unconscious on the ground. Uh, there is nothing about that that sounds pleasant. Trias. Yes. Yeah. I don't have markers oh. for them, but just tell me what you want. Are they just, gotcha. Are they just attacking enemies? Yeah, I'm gonna have them attack the closest enemy. Okay, so just just roll some attacks and then I'll I'll just do that. Okay. Uh, do you have the minis on the board or no? I don't. I don't okay, have the enemies' fine. minis on the board either. So just. No problem. Okay, here we go. Just roll do, 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 do. your few attacks. All right. So for the first, it's a 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. 24 to hit. Okay, hits. Next, next, hit, next. And? <laughs> uh, actually, they they all have double hits, I believe. So uh, the second one rolled uh, the same thing, uh, okay. 18. So for the purpose so of me... this, both, both their attacks hit. They cause damage. They crush two of the undead creatures that are near them. Next one attacks. Same thing. Boom, boom. Just starts to ransack through them. All right. Tri Triance number three and four. Got it. Here we go. Uh, ooh, six, <laughs> seven, eight. 18 to hit. Does that hit one? Yes. All right. Uh, six, uh, nine, uh, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven points of bludgeoning damage, and on the second hit, it it 
uh, it flopped. Okay. And for the and for the very last one. Doo -doo -doo. Or awaken trees. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 hit to hit. Hits. Awesome. The, the other one rolled a 17 and plus six to hit, so that hits too. Awesome. Uh, cool. So top of the order, Denahi. Mm, okay. Well, she's gonna, I guess, grip her scythe with both hands and kind of just she's really tense at the moment okay <laughs> both of her all of her dragonfly wings are just gonna jet outward and she's gonna lift off the ground about okay. 30 feet full yeah. movement yeah. um just straight up okay. how far I'm, I'm like 40 feet away from him right uh yeah you're a little less than that okay um yeah, I'm gonna use a couple of my sorcery points to cast Twin Spell. Okay. Um, do I want to do that though? Actually, yeah, fuck it. And I'm gonna um, create two more orbs <laughs> with that, and I'm gonna use my scythe and just like a bat, just kind of spin it and kind okay. of hit them both towards him, one at his neck and one at his chest. Um... Oh, jeez. That's not very great. 29 to hit. Hits. Oh, okay. <laughs> Two of those. There you go. For a total of 15 damage. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I like it. It's something. We'll take it. We'll take it. Yes. Yeah, we'll take it. And and she'll stay Everything right there. Counts. Okay. Staying right there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Torque. I'm going to move up and throw my axe at Victor. Yeah, you can do that. Okay. Uh, that makes it 28 to hit. Hits. And... That is all four or four D twelve. Oh, man. Uh, thirty-seven points of damage. Man, thirty-seven points of damage. Got it. What a hit! I will attack again, and I hit, and the same thing. Oh, much better. Uh, fifty-three points of damage. Dang. I gotta check off my my throws, and then because I'm in a frenzy, I get one more attack, and I will throw again. Okay. And wow, same roll. Uh, that hits. Okay. And. Oh, uh, thirty-five points of damage that time. Got it. I have one throw left. And that is all of my uh, things. I'm done. Wisdom save with advantage, please. Sixteen. Sixteen fails. You take. You take. That's it. That's it. Uh, Thirty-nine points of corruption damage, and you are Ooh. currently engulfed in a a pool of darkness. With around you, so within 60 feet, um, Jadobi, Denahi, Aika, Cerise, even Saiyan, make a wisdom save with advantage, please. He casts Maddening Darkness, so you hear these screams and these yells and heckles, and this is a deep, deep dark uh, spell that he just cast on you. You said wisdom save? Correct. With advantage, because you had heroes mm -hmm. beast. Sixteen plus. Well, Saiyan got thirty-four. Fourteen. Seven. Seventeen. Seventeen fails. Fourteen fails. Saiyan Ica... succeed. Oh, we're all gonna die. Ika got twenty-three on his save. Fails. No, I could never succeed at that. Shinobi. 
Jesus, you had to roll a 30 to succeed? Here we, here we go. Uh, ooh, this is one. Uh, my wisdom is plus... 26. Yeah, 26 total. You just succeed. So you, you are not... Ooh. You and Saiyan are not engulfed in this madness. Everyone else is. I don't oh, even no. know if I have a thing. I'll use the fireball. Oh, uh, we you killed Victor. Victor's dead. Oh, oh, that was easy. That's it, y'all. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> so, Danahi, you're technically in in it, but the ring doesn't go that far. But you're in the darkness. Jadobi saying you're not in the darkness. If you have dark vision, you cannot see anything. Uh, Non-magical light, um, as well as light created by spells of eighth level or lower, cannot illuminate the area. What about Eighth my eyeballs? level? Jeez. I don't have Nico, do I? Not yet. Not at the moment, no. Uh, what about eyeballs? Copy that, copy that. Oh, I didn't do the damage. What was the damage, Tor? Oh, God, I'm sorry. Third, I, 39? Uh, I thought it was less than that, but okay. Anyone remember? Nope. Okay, no. so we'll call it 39. That's the number I have in my head. So Cerise and Denahi... Uh, oh, that's cap, correct. That take, is correct. Take 39 points of corruption damage. Ooh. Sheesh. Now we can't okay. see And you can't see uh, uh, the, Question, yes. DM. I know I'm not. In, I know I'm not in the darkness. However, is um, is Victor in the darkness? Uh, technically not. He is just above the bubble of darkness. Gotcha. Thank you. Your vantage point right now, you can kind of see him. You'd have to either back up or move to the side to see more. Um, but currently, the darkness is centered on something uh, of Torx at the moment. Or Torx. Understood. Uh, Denahi, that was your turn, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, Torque, you did something. That's right. Torque. I something. did something, yes. Um, so that was his. Uh, by the way, when he when he did that, was that some sort of spell? Oh, never mind. He's not within five. Never mind. Yeah, he's not within range. Uh, yes, it was his his top of the order attack. Uh, Ika. All right, Ika is going to run to his right to get out of the darkness. Okay. Uh, does he see anything that he can hit when, once he's out of the darkness? There are things way over there. Werewolves are way over there. There's currently nothing. Uh, well, there's a dire wolf right here. Where? Wolves? Yes, werewolves. There, wolf. There, castle. Is my, is my pointer on the dire wolf? Yes. Perfect. That's where Ika's going. Okay. Because Ika hates dire wolves, except if it's Lobo. All right. Hit number one. Uh, ooh. What, what is... Da, 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 plus okay ooh i don't know uh 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 13 to hit uh direwolf sorry all right so many actually no 16 he has a plus 10 to hit 16 to hit the direwolf i think 16 hits. Uh, woo uh, yeah 16 hits. all right and hit before i roll the damage hit number 2 for the direwolf uh, 14 to hit the dire wolf. Just hit. Woo! Here we go. That's gonna be 4d8. Double eights, baby! Uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. I don't, I, don't, I don't have another level tier, but that circle gets about doubled in size. So Got you. For the purposes of this, I'll kind of put it out here a little bit. This is not a perfect circle, so fuck off. But yes, it's that whole radius. The, 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 the portal or whatever he's opening in the ground is opening bigger. Oh, no. All right, so uh, DM, that was 40 points of slash magical slashing damage. And also, that's going to be 2D, 2d10 radiant. Ooh, that, not bad. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 points of radiant damage as well to that dire wolf. The choice is Ica's. Uh, Ike is gonna eat him. Like, he's just gonna rip him apart and start shoving some stuff in his face. So we can heal a little bit, you know, he got hurt. <laughs> um, now is not a time and to eat Ike. That's, that's his turn. Now is the time to eat Ike. <laughs> Wait, what? 
Uh, okay, so uh, are we eating Ica? Ica. <laughs> Now's the time to That's eat Ica. I'm I'm passed out on the ground. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> so lots of things are happening. People are moving. People are fighting. One too many hits screen. with the vampire. Listen, <laughs> I am a vampire. It's fine. Right now you're kind of like an angel. I have like a pile of shit over here. I'm an so angel you vampire. all see off in oh, the okay. distance, um, the fog of the of this death thing starts coming thicker and thicker. And once the fog kind of subsides, you see two large, what looks to be frost giants, barreling down the 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 road, just swinging and just crushing. Um, all of the, the, the people just attempting to, to fight this thing. Um, the other one's off screen, it's not even in there yet. For the two people who can see. Yep. Stupid Are they good thing. giants or bad giants? They're, kill they're, they're killing the people. Are you a good witch or a bad witch? <laughs> they're smashing the people, they're probably not so good. Uh, down, done with the war stuff, some of the bats kill some of the people up here. That. I have a lot of cleanup to do. Uh, Jadobi. All right. Cool, cool, cool. So, all right, let me open them battle strats again. Uh, strats? First things first, I'm going to do. Um, you said. I'm, I'm going to try it. Cause, so, DM, you said that no spell that is under eighth level can like with magical light can disperse this darkness but could i try to use dispel magic on it and hopefully i can roll high enough to dispel it what are you dispelling the darkness itself this bubble you this have dark to dispel bubble. the source i have to dispel the source yes oh Victor. which no. no attacking the darkness you, you, it's... You'd have to go in the darkness. I mean, you, you'd been around similar spells like this before. What was that? Um, you've been around <laughs> similar spells like this before, where you have to find the source of it. And you know it was cast on Torg. So you'd have to go in the darkness, find Torg, and then try to dispel in, on him. <sighs> the same thing, um... Bo used, right? Or um, Ted used? Uh, it's similar. This is this is corruption based. This is not... Um, and this is maddening darkness. This is something a little different. Because hmm. I'm just I'm just saying because the spell says I can um, dispel any effect, any magic effect. I understand. So, this spell specifically is a source based spell. So it's the effect understood. is actually on Torque. So you... I believe understood. you have to... Do you have to see the, the target? Um, I probably do. That sounds about right. So, I mean, you know Torque was right in front of you. You can... I'll let you roll a d20 and you can run towards him and then cast a spell magic. I'd let you do that. Is this the kind of thing that True Sight would not work on? Or would True Sight work here? Because normally wow, True Sight can see through magical darkness. Yeah, True Sight would work. Okay. Uh, okay. I am going to. I, that's probably it's probably my best bet. I'm gonna roll a d20 and run in there to see if I can dispel this off of torque. Okay. Do I add anything to this d20 roll? No, straight d20. But ah, it fell. Okay, I'm gonna use this one instead. You know which ones don't fall. Uh, six on the die. Purple dice. Six on the die. <laughs> you lucky bitch. I got a five. So you run forward, you like you literally can't see anything. The, the darkness, even though you've succeeded on your save, you hear screams and howls, and you, you swear you hear your sister's voice, and all these nightmares and, and memories start to flood your mind. You're like, Torque, where are you? And oh my boom, God. you bump right into him. Um, what the hell? Can you cast the spell magic at 8th level? Yeah. Torque, don't move! Could I, could I cast it at a lower level and just roll to see if maybe I'll roll high enough? Because it's, it's like counterspell, but it's just when something's already cast, I can roll a d20 uh, plus my it. wisdom modifier. Oh, oh. And it, all right, cool. Yeah. All right, here we go. Here we go. 
It sounds like Ludo from Labyrinth. Yeah, kinda. It really does. That's a natural one. Ooh. Ooh. That's a that's a natural one. What level did you cast it at? Uh, cast it at third. At third? Yeah. Ludo said. Wait, what? Woo! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just like this energy, this wow. pink anti-magic energy shoots from my hands as I blast it into Torque and anything on his person to disperse the, the darkness. Anything else in your turn? Ooh, bonus action. Er, can't do that. That's that's it. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna look to oh shit. Oh never mind. I thought I thought uh, Max was still behind me behind me, but he's up front. So I'm just gonna yell out. Max, how are you feeling? Fucking terrible. Do, do Could I, you point do out I again like where he's, Max is? Uh, he's in front of Ica. He's right here. Okay. Um, do I, as I look at him from no. afar, do I feel like he's like on his last leg, or do I feel like he's got some fight in him? Max. Uh, yeah. He's doing alright. All right, my that's the that's my turn. I'm done. Playing <coughs> it out, rock, rock boys. Rock boys, uh, they're going to go to the nearest enemy okay. and attack. Go ahead and roll their attacks. Don't worry about damage. Okay, so we got 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 23 to hit and 22 to hit for the first guy. Okay. And then for the second, we got uh, 17, 18, 20, 21, 23. 23 to hit, and then, ooh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 to hit? No, 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 no. Yeah, that would hit that guy. You're at a zombie right now. Yep, that's it. He's, they're done. They're fighting off. They're just, okay. cool. They're just smashing and doing the thing. Good. I'm looking okay. at him. Whenever, if he casts a spell, I'm ready to dispel it. Or I'm gonna try to anyway. Roll a perception check. And I'm ready to die. Come on. I'm fucking Come prone on, and passed man. out on the ground. Right, but you Are you actually passed out? I don't know. No, He's my name is 19 fine. perception. But... Victor, you watch Victor's hand glow with uh, almost like lightning energy, and he goes to throw a witch bolt at Torque. I'm not. I'm not. I'm gonna try to spell it. Okay. Roll your D twelve. Here we go. D twenty plus whatever. Uh, let's see. That's gonna be. Six. Ooh, no, I rolled low. Uh, six, did seven, eight, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Huh? So no. You, you need okay. to beat an eighteen. <laughs> so he casts okay. Witch Bolt on Torque. Uh, I'm going to uh, use my mountain. Uh, damn it! What is it? Hold on. Go ahead, keep going. 20 to hit. Uh, that matches. Okay. Your stone, your stone endurance or whatever? Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Thank you, okay. stone's endurance. So you take 42 points of lightning damage. Okay, so I use, what, D12 to reduce it? Plus three. D12 plus three. Oh, wait, sorry. I, I missed two more D12s. Oh. oh Jesus. Ten more, so fifty-two points of lightning damage. Wow! Yeah, 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 yeah. And I, I reduce it by three. Okay, forty-nine. <laughs> uh, sorry, five. Forty-seven. Forty-seven. Forty-seven points of lightning damage. Math is hard. Uh, Victor. Yeah. You Wait, I thought I had. Okay, no. Nope. Well, what was that? Got a pile of minis over there. It's ridiculous. Um, Cerise. He chose this life. All right. Um, so Cerise flies to Tallulah, um, and like this cloud of like tiny little like phase move with her. Um, that are just like whipping around her. Um, how t how high off the ground is Victor? Thirty feet. Thirty feet. Okay. 
So he's out of range if she flies straight to Tallulah. Um, but I think she's close enough that she's gonna fly high enough so that it'll hit, like pass through before like diving down. Okay. <clears throat> um, so he can make a wisdom save. Wisdom save. Wisdom. Um, and twenty-two DC. Uh, twenty-one. Oh, okay. Well, then he takes thirty-three radiant damage, um, and then. Cerise flies over to Tallulah, and she's like, Tallulah, wake up and, like, sh what does she see? Like, does it seem like she's just, like, asleep? Like, can she, like, shake her awake, or? Uh, you could use an action to do that. Do you have an action left? I do, yeah, because ha I've only moved. Okay. Uh, I just moved him through my... Well, yeah. What was the... Oh, the wisdom save was for your thing. Got it. Yeah, for uh, the spirit guardians. Yeah, you can, you can use an action to wake her up, yes. Okay, I use... I Tallulah, Tallulah, wake up, wake up. <gasps> okay. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> that, that really? You go. Oh. oh. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Big scary guy, right above us. I got a pretty girl What's looking that? at me. What do you? What am I supposed to say? Hey, you got this. And then Hi. she gives you part of inspiration. <laughs> 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 and she winks at you. Oh. A lovely, a lovely D12. Yes. All right, and it's my turn. Okay. Um, same. Is there a position that I can get to facing the frost giants that I could avo avoid hitting friendlies in a 15 foot cone? Uh, yes. <coughs> Behind the tree, you could probably get there. Okay. Attempting to get the Frost Giants in a 15-foot cone without hitting friendlies, Zayn is going to inhale deeply and then exhale a cone of fire breath. Ooh. That's right, you a dragon ball. A cone. That's a uh, dexterity saving throw to try to reduce the damage. 16 and an 8. Uh, 16 and an 8 both fail. So. That is good. That is way too many dice. Let's no. again. <laughs> wow, I wish it was that much. So that is going to be 21 points of fire damage to enemies within that 15 foot cone. Uh, go ahead and roll that again. Oh! <laughs> Plus 19? Ooh. So that's like 40, 50, 40, 40 points of damage. 40. Yeah, that's 40. Just. Okay. Uh, they're looking <laughs> pretty, pretty rough as the fire does a lot more damage to them than you would have imagined. I was hoping. <laughs> uh, and your turn? That's in, that ends his turn. Tolula, you are on the ground. Your eyes are open. Uh, awake. I stand up. And I thank you, Cerise. And then I fly up to meet Victor. Okay. Straight up the ground. My long braided hair flying in the wind. Um, <laughs> I'm going to. Uh, hey, Dobie, go ahead and roll your defense attacks while we're doing this. I just did, actually. <laughs> I am going to bonus action, uh, cross my arms, and let out a radiant yellow energy onto myself to cast Shield of Faith to give me plus two to AC. Hey. And then I'm going to hit him as hard as I possibly can. Oh, yeah. Body That's a 19 plus dead. 16. So, 35 no, to hit. It. Don't say that. Of course it hits. Ooh. Don't say that. <laughs> that, would hear, that would hit the Terrasac on my top shelf. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> uh, lovely, lovely. Not a great roll, but we'll take it. He has to limit your hopes and dreams just a little bit. No, he's not allowed. 
Um, 18 radiant damage and 6 fire damage on the first attack. And on the second attack, that is... Ooze. I'm not going to use my inspiration. So, 22. 22 to hit? Yeah. Misses. Yeah. Um, and that's it. That's my turn. I'm up in his face and I'm swinging at him with a big sword. Like, come at me! Just try me, Victor. Come at try me, me, bro! Come at me, bro! Um. Cerise, that, um. The spell you have up right now? Yes. What is it again? Spirit Guardians. What level? It's at 6th level. 6th level. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh, yep, I rolled a 17. So he uses two of his legendary actions to cast the spell magic on your spirit guardians. Write that down. I'm not using my legendary actions as much as I should be. What's going on? Alright. I don't know. You were a little uh, distracted by I all the I feel so bad. Triads. He's uh, they're gonna just make a front line and like just move forward to try to take everything out. So they're going like right up here to anything that can hit. I don't. Are you point? You're pointing at Ica right now. Am I? Yep. Oh, that's yeah. weird. In any on my screen. It, okay. I'm, so they're like, going. They're going to the frost tracks. Roll roll your damage. Uh, okay. So I rolled to hit first, but I can give yeah. you the damage. Now, what's the, what's the hit? <laughs> uh, that's gonna be the first one's gonna be a twenty-one to hit. 15 is the armor class. Did you hit with everything? All right. Uh, that hits. That hits. Oh, a natural 20. Yeah, I'll take that one. And yeah, they all hit. Okay. Roll the damage. Here we go. So this one's going to be the crit, and then everything else is going on top of that. Uh, so uh, let's see. Uh, 6, 12, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. 32 points of damage uh, for the crit. Okay. And then for everything else, uh, 5, 6, card. 7, ooh, 10, 10, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 20, 29, 30, 31, 31, 35, 35, 36, 39, 40, 41, 42. Okay. 52 points of bludgeoning damage from the rest of the hits. You watch as your tree ants go up and just start clobbering on these fire giants along with the other soldiers and Max is there with you and you watch as both fire giants both fall down dead. Woo! Go awaken trees, go! <laughs> and that's their turn, they're done. That is their turn, they're done. That is the bottom of the order. Oh, nature is beautiful. At the top of the order... <laughs> Some markers or something, and, you know, <laughs> just gotta do the things and the things. Rot row. The portal gets bigger in size again. Fuck! I don't like it! I don't like it! Um, top of the order, Denahi. Okay, so I'm gonna try to fly a little bit closer, maybe 20 feet away from him, but at an angle so I'm, uh, Tallulah is not just directly in front of me. Like mm-hmm. I'm gonna cast Shatter on his... He's he's holding a staff, right? Uh, right now he's not holding a staff. Oh. He's holding a, a sword. Oh. Hmm. His mini is holding a staff. He with, ain't hit shit! With a black gem on it. Who is? I said his, his mini is holding a staff, but he's actually holding a sword at the moment. Hmm, never mind. I'll cast Shatter on his throat then instead. So it's a constitution <laughs> save. Binksy dude. I have an advantage, but I rolled a two and a nine. Oh, well then eat shit. <laughs> <laughs> so 25 points of crushing damage. Got it. Thunder. And then that is all I'm gonna do. Okay, torque. 
Uh, I have one more throw left, so I will go ahead and throw. Okay. And it's a 26 to hit. Hit it! Just hit. Okay. No, it hits. Nice. 49 points of damage. Ooh, the lolly. That is all I have for throws. I can no longer throw my axe. Okay. Uh, and all I can do is run around below, so I'm going to begin running towards where Max is, see if I can help out. Okay. There's nothing I can do to Victor floating up in the air. Got it. At the end of your turn, you watch as Victor's sword shifts. Wait, hold on. Did I did I get to that guy? In t like, if I still have attacks. There's no other enemies right there at the moment. The two fire oh. frost giants they were fighting fell. Okay. Um, Victor's they got sword shifted into the staff now. Uh, and you see at the base of the staff, at the, at the tip of it, you see that black rose gem pulsating. I need... Tallulah, I need everybody. Everybody make a dexterity saving throw, including Ica. Counter spell! It's not a spell that you can counter. Do we, Is does anybody need effect? Do we get a, a advantage on this, anybody? Uh, if it's magic, Torque might, but I think everyone else might be too far. I can't quite tell from here. Dex puts me at uh, 11. 11. So this cannot be counter spell, yeah? Correct. It's just, it's it's not a... He's healing himself, and the healing of himself is going to cause this this wave of, of force. Life action. leech? Well, well, yeah, I, w I was hoping to have him not heal himself. That's why I was going to try to counter but it, spell it's, it. But it's not a spell, though. It's it's something that he's pulling okay, from okay. the Shadow Ward. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm making a, a what save, I'm sorry? Deck save for you, and I got... Torque, what'd you get? Cheap. I, I had, like, 11. 11. Okay, Torque, you're not prone. Joy. All these people have failed their saves. Okay, so Max. for me... I gotta have to write this down. Sandy, did you pass? Succeed? 27. Succeed. Mm -hmm. Danahi. 16. Danahi fails. Oh, the tree's gone. That's cool. Prone on the ground. <laughs> yeah, he knocked the tree off the thing. That's how strong it was. Uh, Joby, Cerise, Tolu. 15. 15, prone. 14. One, one second. Uh, 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 20, take 20, 24. Four points of bludgeoning damage to Lula. Okay, I'm ready for uh, me and Ika's save now. What do you got? Uh, Jadobi got a 28 for deck save. Succeeds. Uh, Ika got a 24 for deck save. Fail. Shit. Ika's not prone. You don't take any damage. You're just not prone by this, this force of energy literally uprooting trees around you. You all see one. Oh no. Two. Oh no. Oh no. Three. No. <laughs> four. Uh uh. Five dragon what? heads start to poke out of the portal. Tiamat. Tiamat, yes. You're kidding. Oh no. So we're gonna, no! Go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and take a break real quick. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna start. A On that note. <laughs> Uh, exclamation point, raffle to enter in the mid-show giveaway, uh, and we will be right back. Hopefully we will.
welcome back. Everybody move your cursors real quick. Uh, cool. There is still a giveaway going. Exclamation point raffle to enter in the giveaway. Uh, Ico. Oh, I guess next? Shit. Okay. Oh, cool. Hang on, hang on. Uh, well. Sorry, sorry, pause. Time out. Uh, so as you see these five dragon heads start to kind of protrude out of this portal, you see one giant foot come up and slam on the ground like it's trying to pull itself up. The foot itself oh, is probably about 20 feet in diameter. Um, this monstrous creature entity is starting to climb out of this portal. Victor sees you all kind of disseminated like all his other creatures. You see three different poofs of smoke on the ground kind of twirling around. You watch as these demonic hands come out, bones, long protruding fingers with red claws climbing out of the ground. And you see three creatures coming out of the ground. What the? Oh, man. What? Oh, jeez. Um, what is that? Uh, I could. Great! Wonderful! Ah, Alright, he's gonna get up. He's gonna use half his movement to stand up. Okay. Um, Ika, get away from that portal! I want him to... run like... if he can, half movement. So I want him to run like maybe... 10 feet, 10, 15 feet away from the freaking portal to a bad guy to hit the bad guy. Uh, so like a werewolf, I guess? Can he hit something that's not a werewolf by any chance? Ah, uh, there's a wraith right there. It fell behind the wall. His, he's going for the wraith. You don't want to go for one. The, the creepy demonic creatures with the hands. Also, this camera. Um, justice. I want to show you motherfuckers what I got. Oh uh, no. Uh, yeah, that's a uh, that's lovely. Those I'm are gonna hands. stay the hell away from that. His go yeah, solo he's gonna I, I just put on my zoom so I can like zoom in to what is happening with uh with Ica. Yeah. And yeah, he's gonna go uh to that guy with the wonky hands, the the demon guy. Which one? <laughs> with, with the smoke. Which one? Which I, one? the one behind him. I wish I could be more specific. You know my my mouse is getting weird right now. Yeah, Here we go. Hit hit number one. Ooh, wow. 19, 20, 20, 21, 22, 24, 25. Oh, wait, what am I doing? 29 to hit. Hits? He's just a little flip clam. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> next one. Ooh, 20, 27 to hit. DM, did you hear me? 27 to hit? Yes. Hit. All right, so they both hit. Here we go. I mean, not the best. Actually, I rolled real, like hot shit, but it's fine. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight. I nine, rolled 11, hot garbage. 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 22 points of, ooh, 22 points of magical slashing to it, plus 2d10 radiant damage. That was, uh, it was all right. Uh, 10, so 10 double to two, uh, 20 points of radiant damage to this thing. Okay. Uh, Ika's done. He's gonna make one reactionary attack to you for a. Oh to my Ica? God. To who? Uh, Me uh, or Ica? Ica. Natural twenty. Ooh. Um. I I can make a strength saving throw. All right, Ica strength save. So the bone. Is this bone... magical? No, he's grappling you. He's grappling Ica. Okay. All right. Here we go. Ooh, not bad, not bad, not bad. All right, uh, strength save, yes, yep. you said? 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 24, total. Succeeds. Uh, however, yes! however, he takes uh, 51 points of piercing damage as the Dude. three claws snap and he grabs right into Ika's chest, trying to hold tight, but Ika's such a big body, he's not able to do that. Uh, what did I just say, 50? Is it 52? Yeah. Okay. 52. Got Ica's at 15, so you know. Yeah. Uh, and his yeah. reaction, Ica, you done? Ica's done, yeah. Okay. Um, 
So there's a lot of other things going on. You're seeing the werewolves and other townsfolk going at it uh, towards the wall. Archers and, and spellcasters just launching things. Bats and wraiths are flying around. Uh, per Saiyan and... Well, Saiyan's down. I mean, uh, Torque is down. Saiyan, do a perception check. I, I'm not perception. down. I'm just knocked over. Yeah, I'm you're prone. prone. Uh, you can make a perception check with a uh, disadvantage. Torque. Uh, 17 for perception for 17. Saiyan. You see three large rat-like creatures barreling down. They have six legs, uh, and they are charging down. Six legs of rat? Charging down the, the road. Oh, my God. That ain't right. That ain't right. That's oh, as, no. That's as far as they get on their turn. Uh, There's just no end to this. Jadobi. All right. There is a bone so... right behind you. Yep, yep, I did notice that. <laughs> uh, first thing, bonus action, I'm going to take a swig of my potion of speed. And I'm just, my body's just gonna start to vibrate as like everything starts to slow down around me. Um, let's see what we got here. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at Victor, ooh. Um, th through the earpiece, because we still haven't activated. Denahi, Denahi, can you hear me? I can. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try something as big as I can. I'm, I need you to have my back to make sure he doesn't dispel me, okay? Okay. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna bring the sun. <laughs> Get ready. All right. All right. Jadobi's gonna start speaking in Druidic, and like um, his eyes are gonna start glowing like a vibrant yellow, and him himself is gonna start to radiate as if he's like a star. I'm gonna look to 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 Victor and kind of point my finger and at eighth level I am going to cast Sunburst on that motherfucker. What? What's the radius on that? Woo! It's a big one. Let me let me bring it up. Hold on. Uh, eighth is, is it a save Sunburst. Or Hold on. It's a Constitution save. He has disadvantage because he is a he ha, is an undead, so he has disadvantage on the save. I have advantage on con save, so it's a straight roll. So it's a regular roll. And it's a 60 foot radius, so it's a 120 foot sphere, and I'm gonna do this to where it won't hurt anyone on the ground. Can I support him in any way to give him advantage? Uh, probably not, because I'm about to do the spell magic. Or uh, counter spell. <laughs> so you're probably gonna counter spell? Can I yeah. counter spell as counter spell? Yes! yes! Uh, <laughs> first thing, Jadobi, you and I have fucked up. What? We both cast. Um, the seeing in the future foresight. On yes. Oh. So we, yes. we should have had advantage on attacks. Well, I haven't been doing anything that would, would need advantage, so well, I'm good. I have. Oh, oops. <laughs> <laughs> and it some of us like haven't been having no this problem. advantage. Okay, so counterspelling counterspells. You're the eighth, so I need to roll. I'm going to do... You 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 have to if you don't if you don't yeah you have to roll uh, at least an eighteen, 18. to dispel me. And then Denahi needs but... to counterspell my counterspell. So if I do yes counterspell at something else, and Denahi has to be so Denahi roll your counterspell. Denahi, what level are you casting counterspell? Ooh, nine. Oh shit! Ooh! Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> um, I haven't done this in a while. Hold on. I'm gonna go ahead and just roll this ten d six. Ten plus the level, so nineteen. Is that how it works? Nineteen. Well, no. So, so Chris has to roll his counter spell to beat eighteen, which is Jadobi's, and whatever level you are rolling or you are casting your counter spell at. Denahi has to roll above that. Got you. Plus ten. So, but if so what level? What level, level are you selling? Well, Denahi's. Denahi's whatever level she's casting it at doesn't matter. It's what level Solo is casting it at. And she has to roll a d20 plus her. D10 plus your spell level of where you you are counting you are casting the spell. I'm casting at tenth level. So you, she has to roll a 20, or above. But she gets her spell oh modifier God. to it too, doesn't she? Correct. I, yes, she does. she does. So she gets a plus 7. To my d20? Yeah. Yes. 
Yes. Oh. oh, shit. So it doesn't okay. matter what level Danahi casts it at, unless somebody else was going to counterspell her counterspell. Uh, yeah. Always get fuzzy on that. All good. I'll still use it. Fuck it. Can we counterspell the counterspell for the counterspell? Mm. There should be a limit on that, I think. Number like casting. 20, 21. <laughs> yes! Oh, no, yes! Oh, 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 oh. So the counter spell has been counter spelled. Bitch. Whoosh. Interception. <laughs> Bitch. I'm, 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 Interception. I'm going to unleash this sun as this, this sun just, uh, just appears right before everyone. And I rolled a six, uh, 12 d6. I rolled 45, and it's radiant go times two. So he takes 90 point of radiant damage. Woo! Ah. Oh. 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 That's so gonna be a third degree burn, my so, friend. Real quick, something that I, I don't know if I mentioned, when he pulled the staff out and he healed himself and you all fell down, he washes a lot of the damage he took. Stop moving the board. Is that me? It. It's got to be Jadobi because his eyes are saying it all. Uh, so, at, at, you, did right see, here. you did see him get healed, uh, but he took 96, you said? 90. 90 points of radiant. So, you watch as he takes his eyes and his focus off the portal for a second, seeing you recognizing through his peripheral that you're about to cut cast a motherfuck to him. He goes and tries to counterspell it. But his, his, his vision is pulled in two different directions. He's focusing on the portal, trying to bring Riha in, and then focusing on the counterspell. Denahi, uh, oh, I should have made roll a, roll a Vorpal deep 20, please. Me? Yeah. Well, what, wait, why? Because she's prone why? right but, but I gave her a heads up through the through the, the earpiece. She, she needed to look. I rolled a two. Okay, so Denahi, oh. on, the, Denahi on the ground, hears Shadobi in her ear, looks and oh, like uppercuts. A counter spell to his counter spell. Jadobi's able to pull this off. He watches the sunbeam comes down. Does it stay or does it go away? It's just an explosion. It goes away after the. So after boom, him. and you watch as this explosion of radiant energy goes. You watch as Victor's uh, body is charred for a second, and you watch the portal start to close, and you watch as the dragon heads. I'm trying to climb out, and the portal's gone. Ooh. Yes! No, oh, yeah. yes. He, he, failed failed that plan. he failed that concentration. Denahi, thank you, thank you. Um, <laughs> so that was my first action because I'm hasted now. Uh, action number two with my with my longbow. <laughs> two at How? at uh, Victor. Since when? I'm hasted. I the potion of speed. No, Woo. your longbow. Yeah, he, he's done that before. Oh, I've had it. He, he yeah, I've had it out since Arlo. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was like a whole action using an actual physical weapon. weapon. No, no, Arlo's turns into a longbow. It's, it's, it's yeah. A thing. Uh, I mean, I've uh, so it's an OP homebrew. Roll, roll for attack. So, so I am. Uh, I have foresight, but he does two straight roll. Straight roll. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, Twenty-one. Come on. Oh, come on, baby. Whoa, I got a natural 20! Oh my god! I can't, oh! Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, He's bringing the so radiant. I need this, and I'm gonna need this. Here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, so that's gonna be, okay, so, hold on, let me do the quick math. So, eight, that's 16 on the die before I even roll, and then, here we go. So, this, Ooh, okay, okay, eight. So that's gonna be plus that. And then, ooh, that's gonna be 12 ice. And then on top of the 12 ice, ooh, six, seven. Uh, so that's gonna be seven of that. Ooh, one second, nice. guys, one second. All right, so. <coughs> that's not 26. So that's gonna be our two. And then this is gonna be. That's going to be 23. And then on top of that, I have plus 5 to it. <laughs> That's going to be um, uh, 37. Math. Give me Dom's face. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. Um, now, a uh, question uh, Solo. Is he any kind of resistant to ice damage? Is he? Are you, 
Uh-huh. Because if he is, I can give him to you separately. Find out which page that's on. Uh, yes, he is immune. He's immune. Son of a bitch. All right, well, that's fine. Well, fuck him. Thanks for reminding me. 40. Well, because no he's problem. Did well, the map? I guess I can. Yep. Map's I'm gonna locked. mark off that 20. I'm gonna mark off that 23 ice damage because he's immune. Son of a bitch. But he takes 43 points of piercing damage. Okay. Um, and he has to make a Constitution save against me. Cool. Uh, advantage 24. Makes it. Ooh! Yeah, he makes it. Um, that <laughs> is it. I'm. I'm I'm gonna move actually because I am. So how far away? I think that guy is ten before, feet away from me. The guy you, with the the wolf. Before you move, charisma saving throw. Charisma saving throw to me. Yep. Okay. Son, you okay, got okay. We should all now, just talk. Oh, a natural twenty! A natural. Oh wait. Uh, well, a natural twenty. <laughs> twenty plus what? Okay, okay, here we go. Uh, charisma. Let me look at my stats. Because I thought that not 20 would just do it. Five, no, six, 20, just do 29 it. total. 29 for a charisma, so a, charisma a, a, saving throw? A, yeah, have, so a crit have, isn't saving You have a plus throw. 5 for charisma saving throws. I have a plus 5 plus a 4 from uh, Saiyan. Are you within 10 feet of me? No, he's nowhere near. I thought it was 30, I thought it was 30 feet. feet. He's not even 30 feet. It's 30, it's 30 feet for advantage, 10 feet yeah. for the plus four. Yeah, you don't get the plus four. So it's 25. Okay, well, uh, I guess it's 25. L wait, let me look at, um, Jesse. <laughs> Just does, take it, man. Does, <laughs> does haste give us a bonus to our saving throws by any chance? I know it gives us a bonus to the AC, but what about saving throws? Do um, I don't believe so. Let me double check. I have it pulled up right here. <laughs> uh, advantage on dex, saving throws, and that's it. Okay, it's not that. Well, I guess a 25 total. So 25 fails. I thought so. Sorry. Hey, even so, uh, you're, is this, you're is this, is this, 33 feet away from me anyways. Is this, is this the reaction solo? Because yes. if it's a, if it's, okay. Yeah, he's using a reaction. Uh, and he's, you feel your body uh, freeze up for a moment and you all watch as Jadobi, oh, excuse me, uh, did not he make a Christmas saving throw too, by the way. Uh, you watch as Jadobi's body just vanishes. Jadobi, you end up in a floating uh -oh. space, you're frozen, you're incapacitated, you hear screams and, and, and growls and all sorts of things, and you hear all these shadows, you've been banished. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I got 23. And now he as well disappears from the Sweet. playing God field. damn it. Am I in the same place as Jadobi, though? Like, can we see each other here? We cannot see each other, now. Okay. Mm. Uh, wow. Big, uh, okay. uh... Rock boys? Okay. Rock boys are just gonna hit uh, what they can see. So here we go. I can bring them back towards the bone claws because that makes more sense. One, All right, so uh, that's gonna be time. awesome. Oh, so I'm. All right, like... here we go. Here, here we go. <laughs> Holy Accurate. Sh shit. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Okay. So for the one who has. I'm doing the ones that don't have advantage first. Okay. So just the other one, and I, I, I did. Oh, this is, this is so. I'm, everyone's gonna look at me like I'm sketch. I did roll 4d20 on Google, and I got two nat 20s for those hits. Okay. Screen cap, and I'm gonna post that just so you guys can see that. Um, <laughs> and Snake then eyes. here we go. Uh, two, D four. Where are you? Oop, not D four. D eight. Boom. It's a big difference. Uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen. Uh, okay, sixteen. Just that. Loving just the random poofs of smoke. <laughs> if you had, if you had a um, a ceiling that was like just, you could, yeah, you could trap it, but. <laughs> and that's going to be all, plus four, all, all plus the lights have fans on, so it's eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen. 
So the guy who did a crit does 56 points of damage okay. to whatever it's fighting. The two crits. Yep. And then for uh, rock guy number two, uh, who does not have advantage, yes? Correct. All right, so that's going to be... Uh, that's going to be a 19 to hit. Hits. And ooh, that's only going to be like a... Yeah, that's going to be a 13 to hit, so that misses. All right, so that's going to be 2d8. Here we go. Boom. Uh, oh, man. I'll take it. Uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, 10 points of bludgeoning damage. They are done. Okay. Got it. Uh, it's Victor's turn. Victor is super fucking pissed. Uh, 19 hit, Cerise. Uh, yes. And that one misses. So, Cerise, you take... Uh, 45 points of psychic damage as Victor no, slams down and don't. stabs on you. No, I don't. She's a real! Mind blank. And Victor doesn't notice. Ooh. Ooh. I'm, I'm lying on the ground face down or something. Well, no, he, he, he lands next to you and hits his sword, uh, pulls it out and swings again, doesn't, doesn't hit the second time. He thinks he hits you. Uh, Torque, 21 to hit. Yeah. And 21 hit. Okay. He vamps from there to where Torque is on the ground. Uh, oh, I have advantage because you're. Oh. Let me roll those for Cerise again. Oh, no. no those were good. Uh, okay. No, okay, so good. Uh, Torque, you take. He does something slightly different. You take two hits, which is 62 points of corruption damage. Mmm, that does he, not he, sound nice. He kind nice. of puts his sword away and his claws elongate a little bit. You watch as this black ichor comes from his claws. He just jams them into your side. Um, that's that action. That's that. And he's going to... Fuck you, Sam. That's what he's going to do. Um, oh, okay. Oh. Uh, oh, nice. You know, usually he has to take me to dinner first, but, you know. Jesus. I'm in it. <laughs> Uh, Sam, please, of course. Please make a con save. Cool, 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 cool. Is this magical? Uh, yes, it's very magical. Cool, 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 cool. It's very cool, cool. magical. That, that second roll was not good, uh, but the first roll was. Uh, let's see. So con seven, eight, seven, eight, 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 28. 28 succeeds. So you don't take Ooh. 84 points of corruption damage. You take 40. What did I just say? Didn't say anything. You said 84, so if you're having what, it, that'd uh, be 42. Uh, 42? 42 points of corruption damage. Um, <laughs> Woof. As he looks at you, and he's like, and you die. So Victor angrily just looks and watches as his portal, this whole reason why he's here, dissipates. He, he casts banishment on Jadobi and uh, Danahi, and they just vamp out of there. He Misty steps down to Cerise, stabbing her once with his sword, swinging again, missing vamps over to Torque, doing two attacks with his claws and his final legendary action he used all three of them in this turn he pointed and did finger of death uh, <coughs> a different version of finger of death at Saiyan who took 42 points of damage Victor is done yeah Cerise uh, Cerise picks herself up off the ground um, and that bone person near me is very engaged with two other people right so I not we're provoking an attack of opportunity for like, moving away if I do. Correct. Um, is Victor surrounded by allies? Like, who is next to him right now? Uh, Torque is prone. Uh, Max is about five feet away. Okay. Um, so they're... Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. I will save that plan for next time. Um, yeah, I'm going to activate Spirit Guardians again. And this time, I'm going to do it at 7th level. 7th level. And so the uh, Bone Guardian, or what, wait, what is it? Is that what it's called? Eight. Victor uses his last reaction to try to counterspell that, and he fails. All right. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, I'm banished. Yeah. <laughs> You are. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to fly over lovely, here so that um, 
both Victor and the the bone monster are in. Okay. And now they will take. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of damage. Okay. Um, yes. So 43 damage. If they fail, they're 22. Uh, wisdom save. Wisdom save. Bone claw fails. Victor succeeds. The natural 20. What's the full damage? Oh. 43. Victor takes 20. Bone One. claw is looking rough. And it's radiant damage, of course. It's all the tiny fae fly around me. Say it. It's all the tiny fae. All the tiny fae. Saiyan did not appreciate that smack to the face, and now that he actually sees Victor is on the ground, he is beelining for him. Okay. So he's gonna go straight for Victor and take a slash at him. Actually, before he takes the slash at him, he is going to charge his blade, which is gonna glow with radiant energy as he readies a blinding smite on the sword as a bonus action. Yes! And he takes a slash at Victor. Roll for attack. Uh, that is going to be a... Oh, uh, do I still have that Bardic Inspiration? Does that work yeah, for Yeah, you do. What is that? Plus uh, D12. D12. So that will add an 11 to that. So that'll be nice. a 37 to attack. Yes. <laughs> cool. So that is going to... And he is undead, yes? Cool, so we're going to start with uh, slashing damage, which is going to be... That is way too many dice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing really bad at this. <laughs> Take the 27 points of damage. <laughs> All right, okay. Here we are. 2d10 plus 18, so 33 points of slashing damage. Plus okay. the blinding smite, which I believe is another 2d10. Torque, you get a d10 inspo, by the way. All right, 3d8. Okay. So this is 3d8 of radiant damage from the blinding smite, which will be 19. 19. And okay. he's gonna and he's gonna have to make a uh, is it constitution a constitution saving throw with a DC of 18 or be blinded. 24. Cool. So that succeeds, and uh, he is uh, Sam's also going to ch uh, channel divine smite into the blade as well. So that'll be. 2d10 because he's undead, 1d8 because that's just what he does, and then uh, All the dice. one more d8 because of, sorry, two more d8 because of channeling Divine Smite. Right so that'll be 25 additional points of radiant damage. Okay. And now he's going to take a second attack. Nice. This is just a regular attack. Okay. That is a less happy one although i have i don't think that's gonna make it even if i use my d6 in spell but i'm gonna tr nah, i'm not even gonna bother it's gonna miss so that's uh my total is an 18. No. so i don't think a d6 would even make it close i mean if you got a six it would if you got a six i'll try it i in fact got a six i nice. got a six <laughs> 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 Awesome. I love it when you get exactly what you need. Exactly and you it. take <laughs> oh, 7,000 points of damage. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> That's funny. Don't be cry, baby. Multiplier is really <laughs> So, uh, 27 slashing damage plus that zero just 18, 18 radiant damage. Come on, shenanigans right now. Fat's back there, like, changing the code. Yeah, 20, 20. Uh, Tork, you, you better get, be. Tork, you get a superior. Oh, wait. So Zayn just, now that he actually finally has this guy inside, just charges up towards him and just takes these two major slashes at him. Just, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Tula. Me. Okay. Um, uh, I'm gonna stand up and notice that there's a giant fucking monster in front of me. Yeah. And I see that, um, other people are engaged with Victor and it kind of makes me mad because it's not me, but I think I should not probably deal with this guy. So, um, Question. yes. 
when you fell unconscious, did you reignite your weight damage? No, I didn't. Mm. Are you doing that now? Yep. Okay. Uh, still choosing flame. So you're taking, what, 17 points of damage? Yes. Yes, yes I am. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. lovely. Um, so <laughs> in that case, uh, I'm going to, um, am I, do I have to move or am I in front of him? Uh, you can move. Do you try to attack the bone claw? Yeah. 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 I'm gonna, uh, diabolic channel him and I'm going to cast, what am I going to cast? I'm I don't know cast... what happened to that sword. Spell slots I used up on that last time. Um, I'm gonna cast uh, Witch Bolt on him at third level with my attack as well. Okay. Charge! <laughs> okay. Uh, 30 to hit. Yep. Does that hit? Yes, 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 yep. Thank you. Um, so that's 4d10, um, 32 radiant damage, okay. plus 6 fire damage, okay. and uh, boo, 7 lightning damage. Make a strength saving throw. Yes, I can. Okay. I think you're close enough for the advantage, just not the plus four. Am I? Uh, thirty feet. You're if just, it's magical. You're, you're just outside. No, he's, he's clawing her and grabbing her. Oh, never mind then. Um, that's fine. I got twenty-five. Twenty-five. You are not grappled, but you take uh, thirty-six points of piercing damage as you feel this claw, the claw, bone claws, just pierce right through your skin. Reaching with pain and it tries to grab you, you're able to fight it off, but the claws rip out of your flesh. As a reaction? As a reaction. Oh, fuck him. Okay. Um. Ha 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 ha. Do I want to do any sort of. Oh, I guess. I guess my right was my bonus action, so no, I'm done. Okay. Uh, tree ends. All right. Uh, can they get to uh, the bone guys to help out the team with the. Oh! Yeah, they would do that. Sure. Uh, can can they reach the bone well, guys? They're technically engaged with those those rat things. They took the place of. The, Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, do any of them have advantage to hit? No. Copy that. All right. Uh, so How the first are one is. It... There's four total. Four. Are you planning on ca casting stone pillar at all today? <laughs> What a meta question! <laughs> um, I'm I'm not sure. I'm, okay. Well, I'm, I'm gonna use I'm these. For, sure. I'm gonna use these for your ends. Why? Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect, actually. Yeah. All right. Uh, I have the rolls in front of me, and you said they do not have advantage on this. Correct. Uh, these attacks. All right. Cool. So the first one is eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four, fourteen to hit. This is. Fuck. Um, the next one is going to be 13 to hit, so I guess that misses too. Uh, the third one, 16, 17, 22 to hit. Hits. And the next one after that did rolled 16, 16 rolled hits. the same thing, so, yeah. All right, so that's going to be, uh, 6d6 bludgeoning. Here we go. Uh, 10, 13, 15, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. <laughs> Uh, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 30 points of bludgeoning damage uh, to what they're attacking. Yeah. <laughs> and they're done. They're done. Uh, their turn. So all three rats are going to make two attacks on your ends. They're still alive? No. Oh, yeah. Uh, 19 to hit? Yes. Okay, so all three of them get two attacks. They all roll higher than 19, so that's six attacks. Uh, so damage for the first one is 24 points of slashing. Copy. Uh, the second damage for the first one is 18 points of slashing. Copy. That's two for that one. I'll do two for that one. Uh, third one is 24 points of slashing. Copy. 
Uh, 24 points of slashing. And then the last... And only one other one gets... Uh, 31 points of slashing and 21 points of slashing. How many rat things are there? There's like six, there's seven? Three. They just get two attacks. Got you. Copy that. All uh, right. That's the end of their turn. Bone Claw, Bone Claw, Bone Claw. Bone Claw is going to attack one of your rock dudes. It's first of three. 21 to hit. Uh, yes. Uh, 20 to hit. Yes. And a 19 to hit. Yes. So the... I think he's fucking red. It's red and purple buff, right? Let's go with it, yes. Uh, he takes... 61 points of piercing damage. Okay. Which one? The, the red? The red one. Okay. Still up? Yeah. Okay. The second attack... 32 points of piercing damage. Two, okay. The same okay. red one. Okay. And uh, 18 points of piercing damage. To the red one. Copy that. Still up? Uh, let me see. Uh, ooh. Uh, yeah, still up. 19 hit Ica. Yes. Uh, 20 points of piercing damage. Uh oh. Is he out? Uh, yes, he's down. 11 or higher, he's attacking again. Attacks again. Ica loses two death saves. Uh, no, he's gonna attack Cerise. Uh, 19 hits, Cerise. Yes. Uh, strength saving throw. I don't like strength saving throws. Oh. Oh. That's uh, a no. four. A four? Uh, oh, and wait. Actually, no, I'm sorry. That's a three. I have a plus zero. <laughs> you take 55 points of piercing damage, and you are grappled by this thing. Uh, yeah. Do you still have Free of movement! She is... No, she that'll move. break it. I don't. I can't roll high enough to save that. She has freedom of movement, so she cannot be grappled. Oh, that's right. Thank you for remembering that. Of course. Uh, Tallulah, <laughs> three attacks on you. Ah! This big old <laughs> right here. Uh, nineteen to hit. Uh, Doesn't hit. Doesn't hit. Twenty-two to hit. Yeah, that hits. And uh, twenty-three to hit. You take 43 points of piercing damage total. Ooh, okay. Can I hellish rebuke that? Go for it. Do. Um, he has to... <laughs> um... <Damn>. Nice rebuke. <laughs> I just Thank had to you. turn my mic on uh, well at that. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Those are the, 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 the flames of hell. Uh, dexterity saving throw. That's roll Great, he fucking Ooh. fails. Uh, so he takes ten fire damage. Okay. Uh, end the bone claws turn. The Nahi, you are somewhere else in La La Land. Torque. You are. Prone. Uh, wait. I can try attempt something. Can I? Nope. I can't. Nope. Even if I have. What do you want? No. What are you trying to attempt? Plane shift. No, plane does not work. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Yeah. Okay, bye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Torque, it's your turn. Victor is Indeed. on the ground, five feet away from you. Uh, he's on the ground? He's standing on the ground, yes. He's not. Okay. He's, he's running between us. Uh, all good. I uh, a half movement stand up, then move towards him and cleave him uh, with my axe. He is currently facing Stan. Oh, advantage. I'll take some advantage. Blanking. Did you do the bonus action lightning thing to him? Uh, uh or no? brilliant idea. That's exactly what I was going to say next is that before I do that, I, I uh, ignite the light. <laughs> no, actually, I, I take. Yeah, yeah. All right. Fine. I'll do it. Never mind. Uh, I was going to actually use my frenzy, but. Uh, no, it's up to you. I just, I just couldn't remember if you did that before. No, it's okay. 
I I will do the, exactly that. Uh, a sixteen plus nineteen that hits. Um, and that will be for ugh, thirty six points of damage on that attack. Uh, having advantage. Oh, how about I use the Vorpal dice? Man, that hits. Yep. Hits. And uh, do that. And the inspo. Can I use that too? Oh, well, that wasn't a whole lot. And I just wiped away my damn number. Uh, Twenty two. So thirty two, thirty three points of damage now. Thirty three points of damage. Okay. No inspo left. Uh. And okay. because I am in a frenzy and not do the charge, I'm going to attack again. Okay. Natural 20! Nice. All right, so that's 4d12s. Uh, and then whatever you want me to roll extra. Four, Plus four. I have the uh, Brutal Critical and the... Um, uh, weapon master stuff? No, wait. That that doesn't do that, does it? No, you already used your bonus action, so you don't get. But the action. brutal critical, though, where is that? You roll again, so it's forty-eight plus forty twelve. Forty-eight plus. Jesus. Another twenty-seven makes it. Ah, uh, God, blessed. Forty-eight, twenty-seven, sixty, seventy-six. Uh, roll, Is that right? Yeah, roll 4d12 again. But I just did. Oh, okay. So that's a real cool. Gets you, you get to roll again. God. Nice. And another 36 points of damage. At the no. end of that, you watch his, his body shift for a second. Denahi and Jadobi slam back on the ground where they were. Uh, oh. Yes! He loses nice. concentration on that. Uh, end your turn. <laughs> It doesn't. I actually have the frenzy attack now. Uh, I thought that wasn't that the frenzy attack. I thought I did the two attacks, right? You, you, but you did bonus action to get the lightning. No, I didn't. That's what I was saying. That's why I was using the frenzy. Got it. Okay. So yep. it's three total. Yep. That was only two, correct? Correct. Okay. Uh, a seven plus nineteen, so twenty-six. Six hits. Nice. Uh, that's another 44 points of damage. Okay. And I did not light the lightning. I'll wait till my next okay. shot. Uh, you watch as the uh, sword that he had turns back to the staff. Uh, you watch his body start to take some of that energy source. You watch some of the wounds heal. Not as much. Um, please make a dexterity saving throw. A dex save? Yep. Was Did he just cast a spell? He's about to hit <laughs> No, but did he cast a spell in order to do no, that? No, it's not a spell for him to heal from the Shadow Ward. It's, okay. like, it's like a racial trait. He's just healing because the black gem is out. I rolled a, a two plus what? Your deck save. You have advantage. Deck save is four. Oh, I get. I have advantage on those. You also oh, get plus wow. four because you're close to me. <laughs> Good lord, eight points. Eight uh, points. What? Whatever. Uh, as his reaction, he. These dice have now failed me. He hits you with his uh, one of his claws, and you take sixty-two points of cor corruption damage. That hurts. I love it's the one kind of damage I'm not. <laughs> 62 points. Okay. Uh, I am looking rough. And his turn. Ika. That's save for Ika, please. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, it's the last go. one, isn't it? Mm. <sighs> yes, last uh, one. Ika goes before me. Uh, Damn it. I know. <laughs> yeah, he, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use Crack and die. Here we go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I have plans. <laughs> ten! Ten! Is that a save? A ten? What's the save? Guys? Hello? Yes. 
Yeah. What is, what, what is the save? It's a death save. It's a death save. Oh, my, my baby. I All thought right, it was 11, done. but. No, it's, okay. it's 10 or higher, I believe. It's 10 or higher. Uh, 10 more. People are fighting. People are dying. Cool. Um, Jadobi. After. <laughs> Coming back from like this freaking nightmare zone, I'm gonna stand up like. Ugh, oh, thank you for geez. reminding me. Coming back, can both you and Denahi make a wisdom saving throw with advantage? No. It's all much bad stuff. Uh, what's my wisdom? What's that? Twenty-eight for me. Succeed. Twenty-three. Fail. Oh no. What? You both, uh, Jadobi, you take 24 points of corruption damage. Denahi, you take 48 oh. points of corruption damage. As you return, you're, you're like, shaken. Your, your mind is, is pounding. You're trying to regain your consciousness, and, and you don't, you're trying to figure out what's going on. <sighs> now it's your turn. Sorry. What just hit me? Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna stand up, use half my movement to stand up. And since I am hasted, um, I have 60 feet of movement. So I'll use 30 of my movement to stand. Okay. And I'm gonna look around, it's like, oh God. I see this uh, this long armed finger demon thing behind me and Tallulah's taking care of that. Now I look around to the other one who- Dying, dying, I it's see fine. Is, you're dying? It's fine. It's fine. A lot <laughs> of us I are see, very hurt. Yeah. And I see, I see, Ika down, and a lot of everyone is. Oh well. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. Denahi, Denahi, I'm gonna need you again. Fuck! Just give me a minute. Ugh. What? I, I, what do you I mean? I, I, I gotta do it now. I felt I like I was just back at home. <laughs> I'm gonna try to heal everyone. Can you can you keep an eye on on Victor for me, just in case he tries anything? Where where is he? Uh, I admit, you can roll a perception he, check, Denahi. Uh, DC's gonna be kind of high. He's right there. Thirteen. No, you don't know Jadobi, but she looks around and she can't she can't discern where he is. Denahi, you get a D6 as well, by the way. Yeah, I saw that. Thank you. So Jadobi, <laughs> okay. This is what I am going to do. I'm gonna to fucking do. need it. I, uh, I'm gonna chant with, um, the warden weapon. And I am going to attempt to cast, God, I hope this works. I'm gonna attempt to cast, um, mass heal on everyone uh let me check the the distance real quick uh spells you could probably shimmy over you'd be fine what uh, okay cool at what level at what level yeah uh one sec let me let me take a look uh where are you is it this one ninth level ninth level Oof. So victor is going to counter spell it um, he can see me! He I, can see me! That, that's oh, what that 15 tight. was for, I saw you. Um, he's plus eight, plus 8 to his spell casting, and I'm rolling a d20. 19. 19. On the dot. Well, uh, that's gone. <sighs> I am going to... Okay, well, all right. Let me think here. Ika's down. I don't like it. Um, the the demon above Ika. Which way is he looking? Which way? The demon that's above Ika right now with his long claws. It's which fighting, way is that demon it's looking? Fighting, it's fighting Cerise. It's fighting Cerise. Yeah. He's trying to that's like right. grab her with these weird claws, and she's like, whoop, whoop, fuck off, get off me. <laughs> so is he closer to Cerise then than? Because from he, right, he's right, right, he's right I, next to the both. He's next to both of them. He's, okay, because it looks like more towards her. Okay, fuck. Okay, I am going to run. Man, I don't even know what. To... 
I gotta heal Ico. <laughs> I have to heal Ico. Actually, wait. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh no, he's next. That could be bad. I have to do it. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm gonna run to Ika and I'm gonna put a. Um... Question, DM. Yep. I used I, I use um, the Ward Staff or Zot to cast that. So that would be using an item, right? It wouldn't be me casting a spell. It'd be using a magic it, item. It still counts as a spell, though. It doesn't count you as a spell slot, but it's still the same level spell. Good question. I'm going to I'm going to take the risk and I'm going to cast um, healing spirit at fuck what level am I casting this? It's it's not going to be the bestest. I'm going to cast healing spirit at fifth level. That's a healing spirit. See it? I he has a it. healing spirit. I got it. Uh, that's going to be four d four of Cute. healing. Uh, let's see. Uh, and I can move it 30 feet. It's a bonus action. So I want to um, do it like right above Ika. And it's going to move through Ika and it's going to go to. <sighs> how I'm looking at Cerise. How bad does Cerise look? I'm. Mm, I'm not great. If I took another attack like the one I took last around, it could be bad. How bad is uh, Torque looking? Pretty bloody. Pretty pretty bloody. You know what? I'm going. It's going for Cerise, so it's going to move through Ika and go to Cerise, and they both will be healed for uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, Thanks, 12, 13, 14, 15, sixteen. Sixteen points of healing to them both. Um, and so that was bonus action. That was regular action. And now I'm going to use my, uh, hasted action to plant an arrow in homie's face. Uh, the, the, the demon that's trying to take over Cerise, I'm going to try to plant an arrow in him. And I have advantage because I have foresight. Wouldn't that uh, have broke concentration going to the other realm? For what? Hmm? Foresight? For, ha for no, haste. No, Hex was a potion. It's a potion. Um, uh, 15, 16, 17, fuck. Math is hard! Uh, <laughs> uh, it's gonna be 27 to hit. Hits. Cool. Alright, so that's gonna be two of these and two of these. He has to make a uh, constitution save against me. Natural fucking one. Excellent. Uh... uh 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, wait, no, 15, 20 points of magical piercing damage to his face. On top of that, uh, it's going to be 11 points of frost damage, and because he failed his save, he is now uh, paralyzed. Doesn't even get that far. So you watch as the arrow pierces through his head, <laughs> takes a swipe at Cerise, misses, falls on the ground, and is dead. Oh, well, great. <laughs> Are you all right, Suri? I'm okay. Great. My turn is done. Now we no, The Rock Boys. Rock Boys, here we go. Uh, I have two. I have the red and the purple. They're going to get somewhere to where they can already, attack something. There. Help. Tell me if they're flanking. Are any of them flanking? One of them is. Excellent. All right, so roll. Here we go. So that's going to be 17, 23 to hit. All right. And then the next one is going to be 20 to, 20 to hit. All right, here we go. So this is going to be boom, boom, boom. Yeah, boom. Uh, not the best. Uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. 26 points of bludgeoning damage to whatever it's hitting. <laughs> it hurts. And then for the next one that does not have advantage, uh, it rolls. Ooh, that miss misses. Uh, 16 to hit? No. Misses. It, he misses both hits and he's they're done. Okay. 
We can. Go, I can go. No, no. He doesn't need to. Go. <laughs> he doesn't have to go. He can get his turn. All right. Uh, so he's gonna take two claw attacks on Torque. A twenty-one and twenty-two to hit. Both hit. Okay. You take uh, forty-three points of piercing damage. That's half. Uh, half. Okay. So twenty-one points. One. And the second attack was 22 points of piercing damage, so half to 11. And I will not drop... Wait, I have to use Relentless Rage. So you, you, you drop the one hit point? Yeah. Okay, so you fall prone, unconscious for a, a half a beat. Let's see if Victor pays attention. No, I think he's going to focus on Sam. Uh, 20 hit Sam. 20 matches. Okay. And 21 hit Sam. You 21 take, hits. Uh, Ugh, that burned a rage. 80, 81 points of corruption damage. Ouch. Squeeze me? And... Oh, no. Oh, my God. He doesn't like Sam. He doesn't like Sam. Apparently not. I don't think he appreciated those two hits to the face. No, he didn't. No. <laughs> um, He's scared. Whoo. Oh boy. Uh, let's see. Please make a wisdom save, Sam. Wisdom save is going to be... Uh, let's see. 14, 30. 30. Uh, okay. Hang on, let me do this. So you succeed. Uh, so you only take, uh, you only take 34 points of force damage. 34 still? Jeez. Can, um, uh, that, that downs me. Okay. Uh, Torque, you're on the ground. You can do it. So Torque, uh, Aika, uh, the two rock guys, Jadobi and Cerise, all make um, wisdom saving throws, please. Um, I'm just saying, I said 24, right? You said 34. 34, excuse me, 34. So that's 68. 21. Fail. Oh boy. Uh, 19, so I fail. Fail. A 21 failed, wow. Seven, 17 for Ica. Ica fails. Oh boy. Ica, what? Torx, Cerise all take 68 points of force damage. Oh shit! I, I was at one, so you're I don't un- know where that- You're unconscious, Ica's unconscious. Okay, my contingency goes off. I dropped three hit points and my contingency goes off. Uh, so I heal, Rest. Uh, regeneration starts on me. Okay. Sam, were you down? I was downed. Okay. I'm trying to find out the relentless. Does that kick in again? Because when I tried to lower it, it still was kicking in. It's once every long rest. Yeah, D and D Beyond's just weird with it. You just have to override it. Oh, okay. You know, if you do it once. So, Cerise, already. you're prone, but you're not dead. No, I didn't. I didn't drop to zero. I dropped to three hit points. Got oh, I, or I get to get knocked over, because I. No, no, no. You just. I, I thought you fell unconscious. So you're at three hit points. No, no, no. Uh, I, Torque yeah, is down, and now I'm Sand gonna is down, heal. Ike is down, unconscious. Adobe, what was yours, and what were the rock guys? Oh, shit. Uh, okay, well, for the rock guys, probably not high. Um, oh, yeah, they're not gonna... The rock guys failed, uh, and for me... 68 points of force damage. All right, let me. I'll look at that in a second. Just Sand, remember that number. Saying you do lose a third level spell slot, by the way. On top of that? Yeah. Uh, uh, if I don't have any. Uh, second level. Then. <laughs> Thirty-two for me. Save. You save. So you take twenty or thirty-four points of force damage. Thirty-four points. All right, now let me look at the rock boys. Well, I'll do that on my own time. 
34 for me. I have to check. Give me a second. Sorry. Um, all right, well, there is only one correct choice right now, and that is a mass cure wounds. Uh, how far is Tallulah from me? Uh, 20 feet. Okay, great, so you're included. Bless. Uh, bless. We'll level your Don't use bless, but... We'll level your uh, I'm, I'm casting it at 5th level. Um, so does counter spell automatically dispel that? Oh boy. No, it's, it? it's below... <laughs> It's below third level. So plus eight. Nine plus eight is Ooh. seventeen. How many of those does he get? How many spell slots does this person have? He's quite a bit. Hmm. 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 Okay. Well, R.I.P. everybody. I'm sorry I tried. Uh Well, I'm gonna chug a healing potion for myself as my bonus action. Excellent. And I'm going to, hmm, yeah, uh, I think that's all, I'm, I'm gonna move a little further back, gonna move, uh, over here. Okay, where the portal was? Yeah. Okay. Anything else? <sighs> no. That's all right, it. um. Solo. The only rock guy that survived was purple. The red died. Yep. Purple's left. Tallulah. Or, excuse me, say it. Death save, please. Death save. Oh, wait, break. that's Varple, right? Yes. I like that oh! much better. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. Your Varple's eyes like pop high. open. You have one hit point. Oh, top, that's an instant res. Nice. Yeah. Turn, what would you like to do? Oh shit! I actually get my turn still. Natural twenty does that. <sighs> okay, so. Lucky dragon. Life, lucky dragon. Yes. So life renewed back into him, uh, seeing the devastation that's going on around him. So, now, quick question. Mm -hmm. uh, you said you had special rules with regards to casting multiple spells. Is that still a thing? And how does that yes. work? So you can cast, talking about like action bonus action. You can cast as an action a spell, uh, fourth mm -hmm. level or higher, and you can cast as a bonus action a second level or lower without a penalty. If you have a higher second level, higher than second level bonus action, you can do that. But then you're making a save. What kind which, of a save? Which could kill you. It could kill you. So essentially, okay. you, you like if you try to cast something that's essentially is your body is just doing too much. And if mm -hmm. you failed the saves, then you would take damage and probably fall in touch. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, so, given the fact that I am very low health, I'm not going to go with that plan at this moment. But what I am going to do, uh, Saiyan is going to radiant, radiate holy energy and activate his beacon of hope. Okay. Which is going to use up a fourth level slot because I'm out of third levels. And so that is the spell that gives everyone advantage on wisdom saving throws, maximum healing, and advantage on death saves. Maximum healing counts for potions too. For how who? How many? Who? How long? <laughs> What's the radius? Is that when you're in a certain range? The, radi the radius on that is 30 feet so Tolula, coming off of me. Tolula and Denahi are not in that radius. I assume I'm not as well, right? No. Oh no, you're not. I forgot you. Now I now I'm standing up right right now. Yes. Well, you're prone. But... Oh, I am prone still. Okay. okay. So I'm gonna use uh, half my movement to stand up. Yeah. I I just need you to clarify again exactly what just happened now. I activated a beacon of hope, which radiates holy energy from me. If you are within 30 feet, you have advantage on wisdom saving throws, you have advantage on death saves, and you get maximum benefit from any healing that happens to you. Thank you. And uh, would I be able to do a five foot movement, five foot movement to get on the other side of Victor to put myself closer to the rest of the party? Uh, pivot? Yes. 
I'm trying to get as many people as possible within radius. Okay, and what are you doing? And uh, Torque is still down on the ground, yes? Yes. Nice cool, so as, I, as my bonus action, I'm going to cast Sanctuary on Torque. Okay, and what's that? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Sanctuary, I ward the creature within range against attack. Until the spell ends, any creature who targets the warded creature with an attack or harmful spell must first make a wisdom save. On a failed save, the creature has to choose a new target or lose the attack. Got it. Okay. Doesn't, doesn't work on AoE spells, but everything else. Okay. Done. That is his turn. So, Lula, you're up. Jadobi, roll your attack for the tree ends. Um, I'm going to do something very interesting. I'm going to uh, stand in front of this bone wraith thing and um, hold a hand out and cast uh, compulsion on it. Which is what? Uh, wisdom saving throw. Which is, what does it do? Um, I, he becomes under my control. Uh, so it's, it's, it's a charmed effect? Yeah. So, intelligence check. You could just tell me it's not gonna get charmed. <laughs> do you know? Or do you? I don't, I don't think to, I mean, I guess if, like, I just didn't think that this thing would fall under the same category as, like, Victor, so... Well, well, <laughs> 11. 11. The target is immune to being charmed. Okay, so I'm not going to be humbug. Um, does that take up my action? No, because you succeeded on check before you did it. Okay. Never mind then. Um. <laughs> um. I'm going to uh, bonus action blood Watch curse. the fog roll in. Uh, blood curse of the marked on him to make double right damage, and then I'm just gonna use my big giant sword and swing on him. Okay. Big ouch. And I watch it roll away again. Uh, thirty-one. Hits. Great. Uh, I get to re-roll you, and I get to re-roll you. Oh, hoo -hoo, I'll take that. Um, 12, 22, 23, 32 points of radiant damage, and 16 points of fire damage. The choice is yours. Ho -ho! Yeah! Hey. So I, so I, like, think about compulsing him, realize it's probably not going to work, use my sword, and I just, like, slice off his wrists first, and then slam into his chest. Cool. Um, so I technically still have a second attack. Can I possibly fly to fuck the other bone or Victor? Bone claw. Okay. Roll for attack. Great. Oi, oi. <laughs> oh boy. Um. Twenty-four. Hits. Yay! 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 Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Uh, Kill it with radiance. <laughs> 22 31 points of radiant damage Ooh. and <gasps> again <laughs> I do the same exact thing I'm just chopping off these giant fucking hand wrists things because I think they're ugly and disgusting and then slamming them okay. into their chest <laughs> awesome he is now that's about dead. right and it, and your turn yeah that ends my turn okay. I turn around and face Victor if got I can it. yep so he doesn't have advantage got it and uh, I look and at him and I'm like, fucking oh, Yeah. Ends, ends, ends. Yeah. Damage. All right, here we go. Um, they are still fighting fighting the rat guys, yeah? Yeah. And they do not get advantage? No. All right, the first one was 25 to hit. Hits. The second one was a natural 20. Hits. 
Uh, the third was missed, and the fourth missed. Okay. Uh, okay. So... So here we go. Uh, 19. Okay. Uh, Alright, so we got 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 15, 16, 16... Uh, 16 plus uh, 12, 6, 7, 8, 18, uh, plus 4, 8. Yeah, here we go. All right, so 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22, 1, 2, 3, 4. 42 points of bludgeoning to those rats. Okay, two of them die. And they're done. Okay, uh, everyone make a perception check. Well, that's horrible. Ooh, 30. 30. 30. 33. Uh, perception for me is going to be... Oh, no. 14. 14. Uh, 14 might do it, actually. 10 doesn't do it. Saiyan's very Victor-focused. A little bit. Okay. Torque is unconscious. Um, <laughs> so what, what everybody else sees, you see several things happening. You watch as this fight that's going on uh, between the werewolves and some of the other soldiers uh, stop. And you watch as the werewolves turn and start attacking undead and other things. You watch as the soldiers yes! start attacking as yes! well. You see Cerise right next to you. You watch a portal open up and out rushes uh, Toro and a bunch of other guards. Yes! And, they, and they all start charging all the undead as well. Simultaneously, you see your old friend show up on an airship, starts flying overhead, starting to take out a lot of the bats and things. Denahi, you feel a pulse <laughs> in your chest, a purple glow with your gem. It is the top oh, of the order. It is your my turn. My man. Okay, well, I'm going to release Nico. Okay. First, I'm going to stand up. Then I'm going to release Nico. <laughs> Priorities. I gotta yes. say, I'm so glad that giant stone uh, person is a friend. Yeah. 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 So glad. yeah, I got concerned for a moment. <laughs> Tor Toro's really Toro. not that big. He's about half the size, but that's the closest thing I got. So, is what it All is. Right. With it. Is it my turn? Yes. No. You're, you're oh. Top of the order. Yeah, you're the top of the order. Ooh, I'm fucking up with my scythe. I'm just gonna try to end this. I'm fucking tired. I my wings come out and I'm gonna jet forward. Okay. Do you want Nico to go first? Um, no, he can go after me. Okay. All right. Me. Same kind of thing. I'm gonna ring the, um, pull the scythe right in front of his neck, and then I'm gonna kick him into it with my hooves. Okay. You have advantage on the attack because he's looking at Tallulah. <gasps> okay. Yeah. Twenty-one. 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 Does he not have foresight? He does. I wasn't gonna say nothing. I wasn't gonna say nothing. I know. But I failed my perception. <laughs> uh, There's a lot going on, so he's seeing a lot of things. That is true. He also just saw this big ass airship just show up and start fucking things up. <laughs> she was at 13 plus. Nice. I love how it's just overtaking the entire map. <laughs> yeah, it's much bigger on the, on the battle map than I thought it was. Or is it a save? I can't remember. What's that? Your <coughs> I think you just rolled to hit. <laughs> All this smoke. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, we'll all have black lung after you. this. <laughs> I have the black lung. <laughs> <laughs> I can't go out. <laughs> I'm sick. Because that's exactly <laughs> what people say when they have it. Oh, why am I so lost? Hang on. Well, I could answer that, but... Probably You're probably going to have some gorgeous mm -hmm. picks by the time this is done. I don't know. 22 to hit? 22 hits? Does it? Oh, shit. Ooh, I was worried. 22 hits? <laughs> That's a much smaller number than I was expecting. I know. I'm like, oh, shit. His extra, oh, okay. his extra shield is gone at the moment. Oh, He's gone. so extra. 12, 12 D. 12. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Hold on. Yes. 
<sighs> He's weak. He's weak. Oh my god. A lot of dice. I know. Jeez, super He's concentrating on anything. I, uh... <laughs> so many she can't even roll it all at once. <laughs> <laughs> Who created this fucking weapon? Hmm. Hmm. Wait, what? A hundred and two. A hundred and two points of damage. Ow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's the scythe for you. Yep, and then it kind of uh, breaks <laughs> out of a scythe back into a short staff or a quarter staff. Okay. Uh, you need to do Nico attacks. Yeah, Nico's gonna go um, in on him too. <laughs> We're literally Actually, all surrounded him. <laughs> Hold on. Gonna fuck us up. Sorry, I wasn't ready. I didn't think he'd come back this round. Eee. Pulling it, pulling up a sheet. Hang on. <laughs> oh, you need help? I have it up. Yeah, I'm hoping he can heal some peeps. Is he gonna heal or attack? Heal. Um. Whoever needs it. Can he do that? I haven't used him to heal before, have I? Oh wait, sorry. I'm... No, I guess not. Uh, okay, fine. He's gonna do a wing attack. Yeah, you know, he doesn't, look like, he doesn't have a heal. He has two wing attacks. That's it. Oh, okay. Eighteen to hit. Misses. Okay, I didn't think so. So he's gonna just kind of totally he, he airball has, it and then has, fly he off. Has, he has two two wing attacks. Oh. Twenty-seven to hit. Hits. Oh, now this one's a lot of damage too. <laughs> so much math over here. I'm doing so much math. Oh Torque, you're, so you're still unconscious, right? Yes, sir. You want to do a vorpal As... does save for me? With advantage. Is it, is it my turn? Uh, just do it while she's doing the math. We'll take it to 13. Did Obi do one for Ica? I'm just doing a very simple Also with advantage. On Vorpal. Okay. On Vorpal? Okay. Alright. One second. Uh, turn this on. And what then the fuck is <laughs> this? This. Um. 54 points of mixed yes. damage. Fire, radiant, Got it. lightning. Got it. <laughs> All the things. Okay. So, uh, you swing up and come out of nowhere with your scythe, wham, and just kind of cut his throat. Victor's looking pretty rough. That damage actually broke his, his staff. He watches the staff, hits the ground, and Black Gem shatters. Uh, Nico yeah. flies up, misses with the first swipe, hits him again with the second swipe for that damage. Yeah. Torque. You succeeded your death save. Uh, Ika succeeded his. Victor's gonna do something because he's fucking angry. Um, Wait, is this Jodobi not? Jodobi, oh. no. Victor does something before Ika technically. Oh, oh, right. He, is, he can do things outside of his turn. Something in the background. What's happening? Oh, I think Jodobi. I think it's GW muttering his math. No. no, it's not. Yeah, we hear talking. Uh, he's going to Misty Step and take a swipe at Jadobi. He does, he does not have advantage because we can both see into the future. Jesus, dude. Whoa! <laughs> your, your mic was like... Oh, Super sorry. Super blown out. Super blown out. It's all right. Uh, I don't a, know what. Does a 22 hit? That was your big boy voice. <laughs> uh, 22 hits me, yes. Okay. You take... God damn. You oh, great. That's great. 102 points hear. of corruption damage as he misty steps with his sword and jams it into your side. Uh, that ends his legendary action. Uh, you take 102 points of damage. It's now your turn, Jadobi. All right. Uh, one second. Uh, ho hold on a second. One, one second. What? He shifted away from me? You're unconscious. Dude. Yeah. Yeah, okay. However, I am not. He missed these steps. Um, 
go ahead. Does that still trigger my attack of opportunity? That would that would trigger attack of opportunity, sure. wouldn't it? Yeah. So technically, all four of you. So Nico, yep. Danahi. Uh, I mean, I'm not attack. positive, but I, I, I know I have. I stuff mean, that if I was awake. Even if it normally wouldn't, because of my sentinel, he should not be able to avoid my attack of opportunity. Yeah, I have sentinel as well, but I'm not. Whatever, I'm yeah. unconscious. So Danahi melee attack, Tallulah melee attack, Nico melee attack, Saiyan melee attack. 23 for Saiyan. It's 20. This is. That's going to be 25 damage, half of that you slashing, a, half of that radiant. You have a D20 in there, too. Oh, my bad. The rest of that is correct. The D20 was not. Denahi, you still there? No, sorry. <laughs> Um, well, it's a good thing that roll was even better anyway, so that's, uh, oh, sorry, 51, uh, damage, half of that slashing, half of that radiant. Got it. Did, uh, you or Nico hit with a melee attack? Um, yes. Okay. By a lot. Damage. You don't be around deck. All right, I'm, I'm on standby, yep. Okay. Oh, one plus my strength modifier, that sucks. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> You're not made for melee. I'm really not. <laughs> what is? What even is that? Oh no, you're not. You're making your Victor face, and I don't like it. Three points of damage! Yay! The choice, don't get it. I'd be so mad. <laughs> that would have been so good. <laughs> you guys have done that before. Uh, that's it. Oh, that, like, Everybody got their damage. Okay. Yes. Oh, Victor okay. is in front of you. This blade, this corruption is like pouring through your body. Even before you have to make any sort of save, the blade is inside of your gut and he's looking at you with his Victor look. Hold on a sec. It's a face. Uh, uh, I am going to... Yeah, did not, did not he can see me. Did I can see us. Um, just to make sure, DM, can you put me... Uh, I want to go to five feet closer to Denahi without leaving Victor's space? I would say you can't move at this moment. He's, his, okay, his well, she can see me. It's fine. Yeah, as long see. as she can see me. Sure. All right. I guess this, this was for your sister, huh? Well, I don't apologize. This was for my and queen. I, I, yeah, well, fuck her too. I'm gonna start muttering in druidic <laughs> as as I uh, hold up um, the uh, warden weapon. Now I'll begin to mutter, and I'm gonna. Denahi, are you ready? You have my back. I do. Fuck him up, Jadobi. Here we go. I'm. Well, well, I'm going to cast mass heal on the entire party. Oh. With Denahi, look. Uh, yeah, I know. I just. I just I need to heal everybody first. <laughs> Greatly appreciated. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cast a mass heal on the entire party. Okay, what level is that? Ninth. Ninth, okay. Tonight, are you counterspelling? Hmm? Are you counterspelling? His heals? I'm about to counterspell his heal. Oh, yeah, then I got a counterspell. So I'm using my last 10th level. Do a Vorpal D20 roll, please. Plus. Oh, oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Last tenth level though, y'all. Last tenth level. All, all you needed to get is a, is a twenty, a twenty, a twenty. A twenty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh my god! Oh my god! No! No! <laughs> I'm gonna pass out. Wow! All you need to get on, is a twenty. On here you, you go. Saw it here. You saw it here. It was you on board. It. it was there. I'm gonna it was pass there. Out. I'm gonna pass out. All Cheers right, to that, all right. motherfuckers. All right, guys, because of yeah, Denahi's magic. That. My God. All right, so because of Denahi's <laughs> magic, Tork, you get healed 184 points of healing. Wait, wait, wait. Aren't That's... we all mass healed? Like, max healed. Well, mass no. healed. No, mass healed is 700. No, 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 no. It's 700 to divvy out. I had to do he has the math. To distribute it. Oh, uh, I so, see. Okay. Tork like, is wait. healed for 184 points of healing. Everybody else. Is healed for max. Which is what? Which is what? I don't know everybody's hit points. I just did the math. 
And everybody had everyone except oh, Torque. I think he's max saying he has damage. enough to heal all of us to max, except Torque, who only gets that amount. Yeah. He comes out of 700 hit points, yeah. right? Correct. Yes. Do you want us to tally it up? I already tallied it up. I mean, so um, Iko was he was unconscious. So Iko was seven, down 113. So just basic mana seven of you. That's 100 points each person. So everybody couldn't get max. Well, no, I broke it down to each person. I could need it 113 to get up to get up to max. Um, I believe who was next in line? Cerise needed 63 to get up to max. Uh, Denahi so needed did, 70. You did the math, man. Got it. Okay, fine. Everybody's... I did the math thoroughly. Got it. Mass heal. Um. Oh. You know, I can only go up to like 134. So if Torque needs more. Yeah, give my, it to him if you like. Of my right. Go for it. Okay. How much does it get from you? Um. Do you doing anything else, <laughs> Let me do math. Yes, I am. Okay, what are you doing? All right. Well, Chalu is doing math. Uh, after that, I am still hasted, so I can still hit him. I know I'm like point blank, but with this thing and this his sword in me, I'm gonna try to put an arrow through his face as a major fuck you to him. An arrow? Yes. I mean, he literally has a sword. Like, you do a melee attack. I, I wouldn't say you can shoot him with an arrow, though. Okay. Bonus action. I will uh, turn um, the warden staff into... Fuck. Uh, I'm going to turn it into a, a great sword. Okay. And I'm going to slash him. I want to like try to chop his head off. Let's go with that. That works. This is a straight roll because we are both psychic. Yep. Okay, that's going to be a 25 to hit. Hits. All right, uh, Tallulah, you use a great sword. What's the damage on that? Um, ba -ba -da -ba. Torque, you get 25 extra healing points. Nice, thank you. Great sword, um, D12. Yeah, my, mine does, like, D10s because of the... All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, uh, and he has to make a, a constitution save against me, uh, Solo. Uh, the the power of the staff. He might he might be paralyzed. Uh, Sixteen. Okay. Twenty seven. Twenty seven points of slashing damage. Okay. And is he immune? Is he immune to frost damage? Yes. Okay. Then he only gets twenty seven points of slashing from this magical weapon. And that's okay. it. He's looking pretty rough, uh, Cerise. And I'm, I'm done, and I'm gonna yell out to Denahi. Thanks. <laughs> Cerise, perception check. Beautiful turn. Beautiful turn. Yes. Uh, that is uh, twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. You see Victor with his blade inside of Jadobi. Uh, his focus is focused on him. Victor's bleeding out pretty bad. Uh, it's now your turn. Now I really want to take this, but Victor has gone before me in the order. Oh, you're right. I'm, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Thank you. No, no, it's no. Okay. That's, that's super. That's super awesome. Um, <laughs> yeah. They had said that was the correct thing to say, but the inside I, me says. I, I, oh, I, I, I know. I'm you. sorry. It's no, my no. natural <laughs> lawful good alignment. I can't. He's gonna. Um, Jadobi, did you give yourself your healing? I, I didn't target myself, I target everybody else. Oh my god, Jadobi! Yeah, no! That's, that's not good. Uh, I didn't know I was going to get 102 points of, of damage, so... 20, it's, hey, what, what can you do? 20 to hit? Uh, 20... I'm hasted! Wait, I'm hasted! Wait, one second! One second! Uh, 19... 20, 21! It misses! My AC is 21! Okay. Uh, okay. second attack misses. Third attack oh. is a natural All of them? On me? He don't. He mad. He do not like me. <laughs> He's super mad right now. He don't uh, like anybody. Uh, or bear. You take. God damn. No, you're. You take a hundred and forty <gasps> points of corruption damage. No. What's your max? No, no, no. Give me a second. I have to look at myself. My max is one seventy four, so I'm fine. Oh yeah, you're fine. Uh, you you said one forty what? Uh, one forty. One forty. Um, I hit the ground. I'm gone. Okay, Cerise, you watch as he hits the ground. Um, 
But like, I healed everybody though. That's that's. I'm, I'm happy. You did. You did. You did. You did good. As as you as you feel your life starting to 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 fade, he looks at you. Call me to your sister. And he rips the blade out of your out of your gut, and your body goes limp, and you fall on the ground. Now it's. Adobe. No. Uh, um. <laughs> I love that we go black. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Um. Shit, 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 shit. Is there a 10-foot ten ten cube around Victor that does not include any friendly people? Yeah. Great. Cerise start, pulls out her harp, and she starts, she like closes her eyes and starts to glow red. And all of a sudden, a huge, just a huge column of fire Hits directly on Victor. Okay. That's hot. Oh, shit. <laughs> and what are you casting? I am casting Firestorm through my Olam Harp. Okay. <laughs> He's not I love that your light, your background light just glowed right as you did that. It was very scenic and very perfect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so he gets a 22 DC deck save. And I am going to roll 7d10. 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 Save. Oh, yeah. 26. I've been waiting for him to be separated from people roll, to cast roll. this. Well, so I'm gonna... S roll a straight d20 for me. It's a 19. 19. Okay, I'm gonna say you put the corner of this box on him, because I forgot Jadobi is right there. <coughs> okay. High enough DC. So what's the damage? Uh, 44 fire damage. The choice is yours. Go, Cerise! So, Avenger fam, girl! Yeah. yeah, yeah Make yeah. it bloody. You're I so think simple. as it, as it, this, there's just, so the way uh, Firestorm works is you have seven... Or you have 10 cubes of like it's 10, like... Yeah. yeah. So there, it's just an enormous column of fire that goes to the sky. And I think when she says it, she, when she does it, she like screams, I am Cerise of the Orb too. And for what you've done to my people, I will not rest until history itself forgets your name. Oh. Oh shit, girl. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and with that, you watch as just Barrels and barrels of fire just pummel the ground, the stonework and everything create this monstrous crater. Jadobi's body, unconscious body flies away 10 feet as you watch as Victor's form starts to dematerialize and it starts to peel and you watch as his essence starts and he screams with this just wretched scream. You all kind of almost have to plug your ears and you hear all the other screams of the other creatures that are still alive. And you watch as his essence burns and it starts to just mist and turn into just ash and the ash turns into some sort of mist form and dip, explodes and dissipates and Victor is gone. Yeah. And then she flies to Jadobi to make sure he's okay. Are, is, is all the other, are all the other creatures dead? You, you watch as the rest of the the alliance fighting these creatures are fighting away. Some are starting to flee. Any of the control uh, starts to subside, and you see the werewolves are fighting and fighting uh, against all the undead and other things. And you are watching this mass of hope start to push through the city of Tydean. If uh, if turn order has gone away now at this point, Sam would immediately run over to Jadobi, put his hand on him, and lay of hands him 80 health. Okay. Jadobi. Oh, I'm my gonna friends. cry, y'all. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> is everyone all right? Is everyone all right? And, and you <laughs> see Nico just come and land by you and look over you. Yeah, Cerise my flies friend. straight to him to make, because she's like, oh shit, I just knocked Jadobi over. Uh, we won. We, we won. We won. Uh. <laughs> um, Tallulah would have ran to wherever there's more undead and would have started fighting them. Sure. 
Alright. So, as Jadobi's eyes pop back up, Aika, <sighs> Nico, uh, conversate amongst each other and come up to Jadobi and Cerise, the adrenaline of this firestorm s- subsides and you watch as this darkness and this fog that's been engulfing this entire city starts to dissipate. And you see stars in the sky and the gates of the keep open up and people start funneling out, feeling this power and darkness off of your shoulders. The concerns of the future, not really at the forefront of your mind right now, but you all have won a great victory on this evening. And that's what we're going to call it. Um. <laughs> so, um. Great yeah. start for Gary Khan. Cerise fucking oh. dropping the heat for real, though. Yeah. Oh, that was a great start to Gary Khan. <laughs> so, you know what's funny? Um, what a way to finish that fight. <laughs> That's how Cerise first met us with, with me doing Firestorm. I love it. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. That's right. That's how you did that like ridiculous amount of damage. Yeah, that's how you disintegrated a really cool magic item that I made for you guys, but it's gone. It's fine. Good news, everyone. It's Gary Khan start. So, uh, <laughs> thank you all for watching this awesome show. Uh, thank you, all my players who, who encouraged me to actually build something because I was actually on the fence of not building a set, and this this one was tough. Um, uh, I will post more pictures in Discord uh, later. I need to put a GaryCon link in there. Thank you, Thad, for po- pointing that out. So uh, this is the first uh, episode of GaryCon. We are streaming for 12 hours every day starting tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Pacific time with the first uh, part one of Create Your Own Adventure, where we will actually create the theme, the campaign, the story, the characters, and other things live for the show for the first few hours. And we have three parts of that. After that show, we're actually going to be hosting Vorpal Board, who has a really awesome game uh, with a special guest star of Joe Manginello, who guest star of <coughs> Vorpal Board. So uh, stay tuned and watch our show tomorrow morning, and then go ahead and watch Vorpal Board after that. Um, and we have a series of other shows and panels and things throughout the weekend, all the way up into Monday night. So lots of content, lots of awesome things. Um, dude, my heart is through the roof right now. Uh, thank you Me all. too. That was awesome. So is Victor's. <laughs> uh, so we are going to raid. We are going to spread the love, spread the Ukidor love. Um, uh, Perception Studio, always. I love these guys. Uh, so we're going to raid Perception Studio here in a second. Uh, yeah, yeah. <sighs> thank you we so survived. much for watching. Yes, yeah, thank, thank you, you. everyone. Uh, yeah, it's been a really amazing. wild ride. I, so I, amazing. I hope you all love D&D and puppets, because that's what Perception Studio is all about. But we will it's see awesome. you all tomorrow and all throughout the weekend. And don't forget to catch the next episode of The Realms of Ugador as we figure out what the fuck just happened. Next Wednesday, 6.30 Pacific time. We'll see you all later. Bye. Bye, Bye. folks. Bye. Bye.